Hello, welcome to the Nerd of Gods podcast. I am your host, Daniel. With me, I have Connor. Hello. And Sims. Hi. This is episode, I think it's episode five. Five. Correct, episode five. Yes, because last week was four, not five. Yes. Today is five, not six. (laughs) Yeah, you're you're calling it five multiple times, I think. I wanted um, to do decimal points in the episode numbers, but... Oh, so it'd still be in episode one? This is episode Yeah, 1. it would 5. be like 1.5. Yeah, it'd be great. Sweet. Sweet. So, Connor, what have you been playing this week? Ah, a bunch of shit. Okay, mostly I've been playing cool. the Warriors game from, like, 2005. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. Playing oh, it on the PS4 movie. through, like, uh, the PS2 classics that they used to do. They don't. Mm-hmm. They just stop doing those for some reason. So not but, through uh, PS Now. Yeah, not through PS Now. No, that shit never worked. Okay. But uh, yeah, yeah. No, I downloaded, bought the game. It was like twenty bucks, I think. Twenty bucks. Probably. Yeah, twenty. Well, no, not twenty pounds. I don't know how much game. that is. For a fifteen-year-old yeah. game. It, yeah, it does sound kind of expensive. Now that I'm thinking Have you about it. Played this before. Uh, at friend's house back when it first okay, came so out. Okay, you, you know never... what you're doing. Kinda. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The reason I started playing it is because I just watched the movie for like the first time in like a few years. Oh, what a great yeah, movie! Movie's a yeah, great movie. yeah, the movie's great. It's like a weird like seventies movie. It's really out of date now, but it's still hilarious. It is. It is. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a crazy but, uh, movie with like a crazy end. <laughs> yeah, the game. I didn't realize this, I guess, initially, but it's pretty much just like a sequel to Bully in terms of gameplay. Like it really just uh, builds on weird stuff Bully, Bully did. Out? Yeah, I didn't. Uh, that's a good question. Maybe this came out first. <laughs> it did. It definitely came out first. Did it? Did it? For Bully? No. 2005? <sighs> See, I don't no, know I don't if know. it was exactly 2005. Right maybe, maybe one of you should look it up. I am. But, uh, I am. Don't you worry. Okay, cool. Thank you, Sims. But, uh, no, uh, I feel like it builds on stuff that Bully was already doing, just gameplay wise, with those uh, beat em up mechanics and a lot yeah. of stuff you can do around the town and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's really fun, especially if you like the Warriors movie. They build on a lot of, yeah, they build on a lot of lore in uh, the Warriors movie. Like you get a whole backstory for how the Warriors started and like the different game members' backstory and stuff. So and that stuff's really fun. Oh, weird that is. So Warriors, Go ahead. Warriors came out. Oh, this is dead weird actually. The Warriors came out on October seventeenth, two thousand and five. Okay. Mm-hmm. And Bully came out on. The... 17th of October, 2006. Ooh, I'm Who really? develops um, The Warrior? Rockstar. To rock. Rockstar, yeah. Uh, yeah. Rockstar, both Rockstar to Rockstar Rockstar games. Interesting. Oh, okay, so it wasn't Norse. It's really interesting because so I just played Bully like last year sometime, and I feel like this mm-hmm. game is like better than Bully. Like it builds on more than Bully had. Interesting. Yeah, so it's it kind of well, weird. That's what you're saying. Yeah, are you sure the 2006 version of Bully you're talking about wasn't yeah. like the 360 one? Because I feel no. like that's really late. It does sound a little late for Bully. No, I, yeah. you're both like you're both because they were taken. They had like a scholarship edition, which I think yeah, they had that scholarship because 2006 the 360 and PS3 were already out. Listen, yeah. No, yeah, 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 at that point. No, Sims, no, go ahead, go ahead Bully, Sims, you sound a little frustrated. No, Bully, <laughs> Bully is an action-adventure video game developed by Rockstar Vancouver and published by Rockstar Games. It was released on 17th of October 2006 for PS2. A remastered version of the game, subtitled Scholarship Edition, was developed by Mad, Mad Doc Software, released on the 4th of March 2008 for Xbox 360 Wii and October the 21st 2008 for Microsoft Windows. Okay, mm-hmm. well, okay. fuck me then. Like, yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, the Warriors game really fun. And then I've also been playing Call of Duty Warzone. Uh, oh, okay. Here and there. Oh, I yeah. really want to play uh, that. Oh, you haven't played I'll, it yet? I'll throw, I'll throw mine in there because I did. I played a couple games. Did you play a couple games? A couple games. Okay. Games. Yeah, I've probably played like five to ten and all. Oh wow. But uh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. I don't really like Battle Royale just as a uh, just as a game type at all. You don't and, like Apex? Uh, no, I don't like Apex either, which is weird because Apex would be the one I'd play if I did. But like every time I play one, I just realize like this is just like big team battle, except you're walking a shit ton. 
and like not seeing anyone. I feel like I'm not seeing people for like 10 minutes at a time. And then when you yeah. do see someone, it's like you either just die right away or, you know, you kill them. And just the like, map I just don't. Yeah, the map is so big in this, too, that like you, you could be walking in a building for like five minutes and just not, not see anyone. They got I like giant the, buildings. I definitely like how the, the, the game just feels uh, more deadly. I hate in Battle Royale. Trust me, like I played every Battle Royale. I've gotten every achievement, Apex. Right, so like I, I've played every single one on, on, on Tom, uh-huh. and the only one I don't play is Fortnite. Again, I don't want to get into my Fortnite rant. I keep saying I, I won't get into it. I really can't <laughs> but, wait for this rant. One day we'll get into it. <laughs> one day it might explode, but um, so I played a lot of Battle Royale, and like I do like that this game is just deadly. Like you can die very quickly. I hate how every Battle Royale has shields or armor, and it, it just it. It just seems so unnecessary and like just trying to please. No, it's just trying to please, like have everyone be able to play. Right. And I feel like that's not the genre. It should just be like you die, you, you get shot, you're dead. You need to be on point and focused because if you're not, you're dead. I think that's what it should be. Like, don't. And I always feel like it's, it's not worth it for me with that if I'm walking around for 20 minutes just to die. No, you know? exactly. I've seen exactly. anyone. Maybe, that's my problem with that right a nice, I, concise map. Very quick, maybe a 15-minute game. Yeah, the map should be Ooh, cut everyone, down a little bit. Those buildings should yeah. not be this tall. Like, it should not be that many rooms in these buildings. Because, like, honestly, you could just go sit in the middle and camp and get to, like, top 20. Sure. <laughs> and I think maybe that they need to, like, make the circle just go faster. And yeah. Then it's forced, forced fighting more. That, too. Which um, is crazy, because there's, like, 150 people in this one. And you'd think you'd see people, like, all the fucking time. And, like, no, you can go out and, like, hunt and shit, but, like, you're going to get sniped from someone just sitting at the top of a building. Mm-hmm. This is mostly what I find happens. But I don't want to sound, like, too negative on it. There are parts I like about it. So, like, in this one, uh, when you die, I don't know when exactly the cutoff is. I think it's top 50. But when you die, you get a chance to come back. It says you, like, get captured. And then you go into, like, a 1v1 with someone else who has died for a chance to come back into the game. Yeah, I really love like that. Yeah, that's, that, that's the coolest part. Because uh, I really like the, the 2v2 mode in uh, Call of Duty Mountain Warfare. Uh, I don't know Gun if you guys check that out. Yeah, I played it with uh, one of my friends. And, uh, yeah, we used to just play the shit out of it when the game first came out. But, yeah, I love that mode. And, uh, yeah, it pretty much just turns into that. Once you die, uh, then you get a shot to come back with that. And then I also like yeah. the buy back aspect. You can run around the map and, like, pick up money and uh, get money off dead bodies and stuff. And then go to, like, certain areas in the map and buy back your teammates if they die. So, I mean, stuff like that, little tweaks like that is cool. Um, one thing I liked was uh, I found this crate, and it was, like, uh, yeah, I, I opened it. And it wasn't like I opened it and weapons popped out or anything. It, I opened it, and it was, like, it popped up my creative class or creative, uh, what are they called? Uh, creative, uh, not creative custom, class, but, custom class. Yeah, uh, what you know when you can make your your uh, weapons or whatever. I forget what they call it. Yeah, called. you can, like customize your weapons. Loadouts. Yeah, it basically, it, yeah, the loadouts. It basically popped up all my loadouts and it was like pick one. So I didn't. It, it just gave me everything from that loadout. I was like, that's really cool. Like no other game has ever done that. That is that was cool. Weird. I don't even think I have a loadout made, so I never even got that. Oh yeah, see if you just play gunfight, you don't really need to. Right, um, but it was super cool. And I think they'd probably give you the standard loadout uh, if you didn't have one. Um, did you go to the Gulag? Uh, what is that? Is that like the? That's the death thing. That's the de- oh yeah yeah yeah. I went there. You did go to the Pretty Gulag much every game I played. Yeah. Okay. Did you end up getting back, or did you at all? Yeah, I've gotten back them? quite a few times. Out of like like I said, I played like five to ten matches. So yeah, I've yeah. come back. Well, yeah, I, I played twice, and I the first time I, I went, the first game I played, I got to the gulag, and I ended up killing the guy. Got back, and I got I got pretty far. I got like top twenty five or something. And then the second time, I died. <laughs> I died in the gulag. What's your question? Yeah. So uh, because it's free, does it sure. does it feel like does it still have the standards of Call of Duty? 
Yeah, hundred percent. This it plays it's exactly just, like Modern Warfare did. Like if you own Modern just, Warfare, yeah. yeah, it feels just like that. Looks just like that. So, do you, you own Modern Warfare as well? Don't you? I do. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, both. You both do. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't tell you that. Obviously, it, 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 I've I've seen that if you don't if you don't own it's like a hundred gigabyte up up the download. But if you do it, it's uh, like, yeah, something like that. 30. Yeah, I had like a twenty gigabyte mm. update when I first downloaded it. So I played. Yeah, I don't remember. I played Call of Duty right at the beginning of the year because of my father-in-law's got the game. So I just I popped over. I was like, can I borrow the game? And I thought, oh, I'll play this. You know, Sunday morning. And I put it in Sunday morning and it finished downloading, updating by like 8 o'clock at night. And I've got not bad internet as well. It was just that big of an update. An up, um, download, yeah. an update, whatever. Well, yeah, it sounds fun. I do want to play it. Um, it's just been, I don't know, time. It's it's like, I, I don't really want to click download to 100 gigabyte download either. I don't, I don't have the patience. It's definitely worth to check out. Oh, definitely. Yeah, check it's, it out. it's worth checking out. It's fun overall. I'd say. I mean, this is a better attempt at battle royale by COD than uh, the first time they did it with uh, Blackout. Yeah, Blackout. I like there Blackout. you go. Oh, I like Blackout. I played a few games. I like. Yeah, I if, you, I, if you like Blackout, I'd say you, you're gonna like this even more. I'm just not very. It, good I think. It. It, I think it just plays better. I think Modern Warfare just plays better than Blackout or Black uh, Black Ops 4 did. Personally. Yeah, I agree with that 100. percent uh, is that all you played this week? Uh, yeah, pretty much. For the most part. No peg. Yeah, what did you play? What about things. you, Sims? Yeah, no peg. Oh, I was looking forward to this peggle update. Um, <laughs> what have I been playing? I played. I played a bit more House Flipper. I got. Oh, I, got I got really invested in, during the whole week. Uh-huh. And, um, then it come, over the weekend. Sorry. Um, and I was like, I'm gonna platinum this. And then I don't know. I I thought. One of the one of the trophies was like sell all the houses. So I sold all the houses bar one. Then I realized there's a it's a funny old thing where you have to own two houses so you can sell one so you can live in another. And I only had one okay. house, so I couldn't sell it. So I was like, how do I sell this house? And I was like, you know what, I'm done. I'm done with this game now. I enjoyed it. I loved it. I got all my creative outlet out. I feel creative, and I'm gonna be. I feel like I'm gonna grow up to be. I'm gonna say I want to say this, and this is just me. You don't need to change. I want you to be you. Okay. It sounds like every time you try to platinum something, it makes you dislike something worse. I, yeah, I feel like fair enough. Thing. It's not like I was. I did not enjoy it. I just I just couldn't be bothered in the end. I was like, I love Control. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, and Star Wars. I think Star Wars. Just I don't want to talk about Star Wars. And then um, I'm talking about Star Wars. What did I? I was gonna play Ori and. Uh, but I decided to play Division, so um, that's ridiculous. Well, I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to play. So a friend of mine was like, um, has been playing the Division DLC, and he's like, he's really, really good. And I'm, I'm in that kind of funny that one that Greg keeps banging on about on um, Twitter. Mm-hmm. They're like community. So I'm in, I'm in that main his main Division thing. So I was like, oh, I want to play it anyway. So me and the missus, what me and the missus normally do, we we um we share game share so we have two playstations buy everything on her account and then on my playstation i log in as her make my playstation her primary console is is a whole thing but then we can play this so download the others games yeah i've done this yeah so we have division you know so we can we buy division one we divide division once and then we we can play it on two consoles right so obviously we thought, well, we'll just buy the Division DLC. So we bought it on her account. This is I... the new DLC. Yes, the War- War- Warlords of New York. So I go upstairs, ready to play, and he wouldn't let me go in. And she, she was like, "Oh, it's letting me go in." Anyway, so it turns out, so after some research on the PlayStation version, you can't game share it. You can't game share the DLC, hmm. which is the only DLC we've ever come across. Like we tried. Uh, we looked into the Borderlands one. We've got the Borderlands DLC. That works. So after some digging, on the PlayStation, it doesn't work. But on the Xbox, you can do it. Which is a funny old thing. Huh. It was such a strange thing. Uh, but a big yeah. chat. A big chat oh, we've had, we're not having money issues, for say. But uh, we've had an issue with Amazon and 
other things getting hacked. So we're in the we're in the um we've lost a bit of money. But a good friend of mine was like, "Oh, I'll just lend you some money." So big shout out to Sam if you uh, you should be listening. But thanks, Sam. Appreciate it. I'll sort that money out for you. But no, yeah, Sam really wanted me to play, and we played a good four. We played four days worth of it all last year. So it's great to get back to division. It feels great. It's nice it looks better they must have put some like nice new shiny things all over the game but it looks fantastic the gun plays fine brilliant it's just a, a mindless shooter i really enjoy it like out of all of them what games of service that's my favorite i've never really i've, not, I've mean, tried division for I've... me it's destiny because i think destiny is the best first person feeling in terms of how it feels the best first person shooter ever mm. did. i'm not a first like, person here. guy so a th- Third person's more of my thing, going back to like Gears of War sure. and stuff. The only thing about Division, it just like the gameplay seems cool, but everything else about that game, like I don't even want it to play it. <laughs> like the story doesn't seem interesting to me. The characters look boring. Like every person I've seen, like their character, it doesn't look interesting. Like Destiny has like, you know, crazy looking armor and stuff. Mm. I know you can't do that with the Division, but I know like you're saying really... everyone does quite do look the same. Everyone does look the same. Yeah. The customization like, of your character tell... doesn't look great. Other than like a high level person, how can you really tell like, oh man, like in Destiny 1, back in the day, like the very beginning of it, uh, the white shader came out and that was the people that beat the very first raid. They got that white shader. So you saw that and you were like, oh, how did you get that? Like, oh my God. We I need totally to figure out how to get that. I totally agree. Um, there's nothing, you don't really get anything to show for your efforts. Yeah. Other than maybe some gun. I, mean, right. even, I don't even think that. You just get a good, maybe you get a good roll on your gun. But the, with the, uh, with the Division's new updates, they've just made everything a bit more simpler. So like, there's a, the, back in the, back in the old Division, it was, you get a gun and all the rolls on it, you know, you keep that gun and there'll, there'll be a and a way to take that uh, role on that certain gun and put it on the gun that you want to use. But it, it oh, was that's cool. it was quite complicated the way they did it. I can't remember exactly. Uh, but now, but now in this in the new update, there's you have like let's say a catalog. So you you have a catalog of um, all your perks. So you uh, say if I got I beat this raid, I get this good gun with this really good perk or attribute on it. I can then take that attribute off the gun and then put it in the catalog. And then say if uh, um, say if I get another good gun, I know I'm probably overcomplicating it, um, I can go back into my catalog, take that perk and put it on this gun I really want. Hmm, that that's sense? really cool. That is really good. No, it's, I think, it's, obviously, I it. It, costs, yeah. it costs like, you know, the materials you pick up. Obviously, when you destroy sure. when you dis- uh, destroy a gun or whatever, uh, disassemble a gun or whatever, you get uh, parts. You know, little I don't know parts. Let's just say parts. Um, but yeah, but it, and the best part about it is that the perk that you have put on this gun, you keep that perk forever. Hmm. Um, it's just a bit of a, it's more simple. It's just simple, and and also one last thing: there's there's a cute looking cute looking dog in the game that you can. That's like a. Companion? No, no, no. He's just in the little base. You just give him a little pet. I called him Jack. Oh. Shout you out can go Jack. up and pet him? Yeah, just pet him. Just makes you feel good. Oh, that's good. That's some, that's some extra points. Pet the dog. I like that a lot. Uh, have you been playing anything else? Um, No. No, no I'm, I want to play Ori. I, tr- I tried to put it on earlier. But no. I'm afraid not. No. Just Okay. It's been a bit of a strange week when it comes to games. Um uh so what I've been playing is uh Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Ooh. I'm playing a couple games. <laughs> this is the first one. Is this the <laughs> this, is one? Game. this is the hack huh? and slash one. Yeah, 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 the hack and slash one. Yes. The one where it was like in the E3 demo where he was like cutting up a watermelon. Yeah, but it was that? with the connect. It was it? I don't remember. They originally that. showed it with a connect. I remember that I remember the vid the, the, the demo distinctively. And it obviously he was like slow he's showing him cutting with the with the watermelon. It looked Long fantastic. Story. It looked great, yeah. to be fair. I never got around to playing it. I never um, I always either. thought this was like exclusively a Wii game. No, it's on it was on three sixty. This is I played it backwards yeah. compatible. 
Uh, so why are you playing it? Uh, I've been just on a kick. Like after near, I was like, I just want to play another action game. And I had, I own the game. Was this made by Platinum? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is another Platinum game. Yeah, yeah, I thought um, so. This it's was Platinum one of the game. early games, right? Uh, I don't know if about early game, but uh, I think it was like 2013. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, it's just another Platinum. They worked with. That was that um, late, really. Kojima Productions. Yeah, it was basically right before the new that same year. Um, and it, it, the game is great. Like, the game's insane. It's intense. Like, if you guys know anything about Metal Gear, right? Like, the Metal Gears in the world are like this super crazy weapon that of uh, mass destruction, you know, that is just insane and you you have to fight them in some in all the games but this game you kill one in like the first like 10 minutes you just slice it all up just slice like, it like raiden's like a superhero he's like like the, well, at one point the metal gear like pulls out this big sword and you he like tries to cut you in half and raiden just has his sword and he just blocks it and he pushes it up and then he kill, he kills him <laughs> it's just insane it is just like so you play metal. as Raiden from Metal Gear Solid 2, right? Uh, yes, but I think this is like after Metal Gear Solid 4, okay. like timeline wise. Oh, so, so it's this like way like the furthest in the timeline. Yeah. Does it make, um, does it make sense that he's like in like a metal metal suit, or am I imagining this? Um. Is it like yeah, a big I mean, metal it's just like a stainless steel suit. Pretty much. I mean, it's not stainless steel, but <laughs> it's. <laughs> Um, it, it's it, think of like Vanquish. Yes. Think about that because it's because you you have you are you are super fast. You have like this thing called Ninja Mode, and you basically just hold the trigger and you can run really quickly, and you could do some moves in Ninja Mode. I'd love uh, that one. You like imagine having Ninja Mode. Yeah, you just I run <laughs> like mode. like fifty miles an hour. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Ninja um, Mode. And then they have this cool thing where. If you combo an enemy enough, it, it'll pop up a couple buttons to, to push. I forget what button it was. Uh, it might have been like Y and B, I think. And then you, you tap that, and then he'll go and like cut up the enemy. And then this thing will pop up, which it pops up at, like throughout the whole game, which means you need to go into your blade mode. And when you go into blade mode, that's the... That's in, in the E3 thing when you just cut the watermelon. That's blade mode, basically. So, so it goes in an slow angle, motion. So, yeah. yeah, you choose angles, and then you got to try to like cut where their heart is, or where their like life essence is, and he like rips it out, and you like gain energy from it. It's really cool. Is this game as long as any other Metal Gear? No, not really. Just a typical so ten-hour the- platinum game. Yeah, yeah. depending on how hard you. How hard the game is for you, that kind of thing. So this is just typical hack and slash platinum game, pretty much. Like With a weird metal, metal gear, gear. Yeah. Dope story going on. That's cool. yeah. The, the ending's insane. Obviously, there are just some crazy parts into it that I don't. I don't really want to spoil the game. Yeah, so kind of. Depends on the respect it out. Yeah, it, it, Kojima helped with it. Ko- it Kojima until Kojima Disney says it's, it's not. <laughs> yeah, until he says it's not. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. But, yeah, so after that, I started playing uh, Ape Out. We oh, talked really? about... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we talked yeah, about, we talked this about a little bit. Blood Roots, and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll try Ape Out, because like, I like music a lot. So I tried that. Um, I liked it. I think the music was definitely the best part of the game. Um, I think I own this game it, on Epic Store. The Epic Game Store. Yeah, I played it on Switch. Yeah. Um, if you, I think like if, if you do have a PC, get the Epic Game Store. I if, don't even have a PC. To if play. you do, just the, like the Epic Game Store, they give the free games they give away sometimes are insane. If you're out there, just get yeah, the but, but 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 you're gonna get hacked by China if you. Probably, you, you I'm not bothered. China can take what they want as long as I'm getting free games. <laughs> I'm just messing. But no, uh, no. yeah, I think Apal just needed better mechanics. To be fair, I think that. Like it, like we talked about blood roots. Like you can still use like other weapons and things. Like the mechanics in Ape Out aren't like you have basically like a grab thing. You can have the enemy like shoot other enemies. I, I just didn't really care for that. Um, 
Like I prefer something like Hotline Miami where I can kill an enemy, grab his weapon, shoot this guy, you know, grab a baseball bat, whatever. It's more dynamic. But just as ape out, you're just this big ape and just running a lot of the time. I don't know. More like melee focused then? Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. lot of melee focused. I don't know. It, okay, is it so is like it as fast paced like, as Hollow Man? It is because of the music. Are you just the music kind of has a good tempo to it. Killing people. Keep okay. you going. Huh? Are you like an ape just killing people? Yeah, it's literally you are an ape that is trying to escape. <laughs> and like there's different levels, and he, it's pretty cool. So there's like basically four worlds, and each world is basically an album. And each album is like split between like an A and a B side. So it's like a record. It's pretty cool. Um, and like really the, I would just, I wouldn't even tell people to play this game. I would tell people just to go get the music. Just buy the soundtrack. Yeah. Just buy the soundtrack. I the music cool. that I, I, I think so. It's like this, like this frenetic jazz. That sounds okay. cool to you. Yeah. I've heard about that. That does sound cool. Uh, I mean, pretty much since I watched watched uh, Whiplash, I just have like mad respect for jazz. I don't know is if that, you know what Whiplash is. Is that the guy with the drums? Oh, the with the drums. Yeah, yes. yeah. And That's the, how and the, mean, the mean teacher. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Good film. Yes. Okay. So you have seen it since? Have you seen it, Connor? I have a long time ago. I think when it okay. was like whenever it was nominated, whatever year that was. I think like yeah. It's like six years ago or something. Uh, it yeah, had one of my favorite so endings of a film like ever. Like it almost to me, it's it like rivals Avengers Endgame. It's not as epic. Obviously. What did he, he just but... smashed his exam or something? Did he or something? Uh, no. Basically, uh, I guess I'll spoil the end. <laughs> but basically, at the end of the movie, for Whiplash. yeah, spoilers for a six-year-old movie. Um, it, J.K. Simmons like figures out. He basically invites. Uh, him to come to this like show um, because he got him fired from the, the the main character got J.K. Simmons fired from the being a professor so because he JK was being actually quite out. abusive wasn't he or something yeah especially like mentally abusive to all his the students his and stuff. teaching methods weren't on point yeah so he basically he he gets uh, Andrew to go to this show because he needed a drummer. And he tells him he was playing the music from the school and he's like, cool, I know the music. So then he gets there and he looks at Andrew. He's like, I know it was you. And then he starts playing the music and it wasn't the music from the school. Yeah, he just, so he kind of like gets laughed off the stage basically. Um, and then after that, he, he's like, screw it. So he comes back. He immediately starts playing, um, man, what's the name of Caravan? He plays a song Caravan. So he's just soloing. And then basically, it's a 15-minute drum solo of just him going ham, and it's insane. Yeah, I, love it. I think I didn't see this movie because I don't remember any of it. Oh, I remember dude, it. go watch Whiplash again and go watch just that last like 30 minutes. I get chills just thinking about it because yeah. like it's just yeah. it's just Fucking perseverance, that. like 100. percent I love it. Um, but after yeah, so after Whip, uh, I wasn't called Whiplash. Ape <laughs> after Ape Out. Um, I popped into Katana Zero. Fucking hell, you've been killing um, these games, aren't you? Do you go to work? <laughs> I, I do, I do. Uh, I have, I see, I beat those other two games. I had, see, Katana Zero, I might need to just go back to it. It didn't really work. For me. I don't know what it that's, was about it. Yeah, that's exactly what happened to me. It's Katana Zero. I think I picked it up like the week it came out because it was just getting great reviews. I played it for, I think that game breaks into levels, and I think I played the first few levels, and I was just like, eh, not for me. Isn't this just the, yeah. the Metrovania one? Yeah, it's like a really fast pace. I don't know if you call it I don't it think Metro it's a Metrovania. Metro no. Is it a Metro? I think it's just yeah. levels. Is it? Okay. Yeah, I think so. But, I mean, I, I love the music and the vibe and the, the art style. It was just the gameplay just didn't work for me. Yeah, kind of reminded like, me of uh, like Super Meat Boy or something like that. Maybe a little yeah, more. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of like constantly dying and then yeah. learning through dying. That's why I hate right. the dark. Soul. Like, yeah, I'm with you. I don't want to constantly die. I, I want to play like Devil May Cry and like learn combos to get better, not like die to get better. 
I don't know. It just didn't work for me. Maybe I'll come back to it. Um, and then I played. Then was it last night or two nights ago? I no, it was yesterday. It was it yesterday? yesterday yeah. uh, I played uh, the like two and a half hours of Ori. Um, in the will of the wisp. In the will of the wisps. Wisp. Yes. Um, and I don't have like a ton to say yet because I do want to play more. But man, this game is—it's insane. It looks like everyone needs you. to play it. It looks unbelievable. I can't believe a game can look like this. To be real, I want to play it. I might play it. I might put it on in a minute after this. I want to. I want to look at it at least. Yeah, I definitely so, have more to say next week. Um, yeah, I know you only so played the first two hours, but like, what what stands out to you in the first couple of hours? The gameplay. The gameplay. Um, if you played the first one, the the like m- the fighting mechanics were like you had a little orb and it like shot out. Um, this one you don't have the. Orb. This one is all melee based, so that it just is immediately improved for me. Like I got there's like this guy that you could buy weapons from for like weapon abilities basically. So like you get this basic like sword, of- and I switched to like this like. It's like I guess it's like a ball, on a on a chain. That he kind of like it just looks like light, but that's kind of what it looks like. It's just it's a huge heavy attack. So I'm just hitting harder, but not quicker. Um, and it's just really fun. It's not just this little orb shooting. Yeah, that's what confused me uh, the first right. one. I put the first one on a few times, and I just don't understand the orb thing. Yeah, so I, play, I've, I've heard the stories like really good in these. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, first two hours they they good. They, uh, the story I will say, the opening is much longer in this okay. game. Yeah, the, the, I played the, the opening of the starts the game. Okay, so I didn't mean. No, no, you go. Go ahead. Uh, the if, if you remember the opening for the first one, like it's pretty short. This one's like you sit back and watch. Like it there, it goes through even more time than the first one did. Okay. Um. But yeah, I mean it's pretty cinematic so far. Like there's there's a few more characters. I don't want to spoil, I guess, the intro. So maybe I'll say sure. more next week. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll have something to say about it next week. Okay. So I guess more let's just go talk next week. Right into the news. News time. Um it's the news. <laughs> the news. news um, that's what we need. So, we need a little jingle to go on um, segment. <laughs> yeah, my friend is still making the theme. He's, he's working. On it. He's working on it. He has a lot. He's he's a busy man. So he he's just doing it. For, he's doing it just for me because I'm his friend. Um, but the let's just get into the big topic. We'll do that one first. E3 is no more and may not be anymore. <laughs> Who knows? And of course, why is it? It's the coronavirus. Uh, what, have we, what have we been talking the about every week we've done this? Every week. It's, this is like the third week in a row that it, it's just constant. I'm starting to think it's our fault. We made this podcast and we also created the coronavirus at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely our fault. It. So E3, it's not happening this year. That is huge. Shocking. Absolutely insane. It's incre- It's. I mean, it doesn't... I mean, after so after when the news came out, the news came mm-hmm. out. It broke. No, it kind of got leaked a bit earlier. Did you Digital Devolver yeah. made a bit of a jokey tweet about it? J- Jason Schreier right. says, "Get prepared because it's going to happen." Um, and then obviously it got broke. I thought it, it broke about four o'clock my time. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it was all followed by it was followed by Xbox and Ubisoft all saying, "We've we, we've got it covered. We, we, you'll get a digital." A, You'll get a, a Nintendo Direct, or we'll figure something out, and yeah. we'll, we'll do it that way during that during the normal times of June. So, I mean, for us, I mean, I, I, I'm guessing you two were, were not going over there, were you? So, no, nah. no, I've never been to E3. So, for yeah, us, sat, you know, sat in our sat in our armchairs with a big bag of chips or crisps from where I am, and you know, alcohol, and we're in, you know, waiting for all these big announcements. I don't think it affects us that much, but it, it affects a lot more other people. Sure. Right down to the bare bones um, of things. The, my seems... question is... <clears throat> Go ahead, Connor. 
Yeah, it seems like the smaller you are, the more it's going to affect you. Like if you're a smaller journalist or if you're like a smaller indie developer, it's going to affect you more than like, you know, the big guys because the, the big guys are all still going to be able to put on like their own shows, you know, you're, and then your IGNs, your game spots are, you know, they're going to be fine. They're going to they're going to cover those big shows and all that and everything. But uh, yeah, it seems the smaller you are, the worse this is for you. So my question is, um, you know, Xbox and, and Ubisoft said they're, th- they're figuring out what they're going to do. It's probably going to be some sort of direct-like thing. Um, do you think that E3 will kind of uh, put it under the banner of E3 still? Will they no, have, like, a digital no, E3, there, basically? Nothing will say E3 on it. You don't It'll think be, so? I you know, I, th- I, don't, no. I, don't think, I think we think would have heard about that by now. No, because that mean, would be the ESA being the ones that formed them now. And like, why would why would any company agree to that now? It just says here the ESA also confirmed that it was exploring options with our members to coordinate an online experience to showcase industry announcements and news in two thousand June twenty twenty. Maybe, maybe they turn into an E three digital experience. Yeah. I don't know, digital experience. Um, join us. Join all these different developers, little developers. Uh, as they show off their games during this time on on YouTube or on I'm guessing YouTube. But obviously, it, it it then becomes what like a fight for the right. Like who who shows it? YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, 4chan. <laughs> I mean, couldn't, I mean, they could go on, on all of those still, right? Yeah, I mean, it depends on. I doubt they would want to do it live. So Twitch probably wouldn't work. It'd just be YouTube, I would assume. Yeah. Right. So and, uh, what what you guys want is like every big studio to still do their big presentation that week, right? Like, all all right uh, near each other. So it still I feels like, like we have a big week. I like the week, because sure. then I can book my time off work. Yeah, right. yeah. I like the... I, not even, like, thinking about it like that. I just like the idea of everyone coming together, all, all these big companies, to just sell, kind of celebrate games. And even It's if, always been kind of the big gaming thing for the year. For that for um, the first week of June. You know? Yeah, and it, everybody, all these companies come together, and that's just, it's just now we don't have that. I mean, is it even going to come back next year? Is it going to work that's so well? Question, right? Is it going to work so well that, but like, what's the point? Like, look, it works better this way. And Microsoft sure doesn't care. It's, they have a whole theater. They could just do a what's the thing whenever they want to. They probably do it just because. It I don't even think they'd fill in the theater now. I think they'd just do a completely digital thing. I mean, you're not yeah. going to invite people into a public place right now. No, I agree, definitely. But they do have the theaters, what I mean. So, like next year, yeah. they probably they could just they could just do not that. do E three and just do their own thing. Yeah, this can, day it's gonna be whatever you know. I can just imagine it, you know, being like a like a live version of the Nintendo Direct because Nintendo Direct's more like a floaty voice. And then a load of like panels with then videos and announcements. I think the Xbox one and even the even the Ubisoft, Ubisoft one will be, you know, be using them on, you know, in in the in the studio, in you know Ubisoft main office, and they'll be like, well, you know, unfortunately we can't be here, but we're gonna do it this way. And then here's our games for the next year. And then all of a sudden, a big big marshmallow turns up and is just dance 2021. That's what you want. That's what. <laughs> that's what I and obviously, I think even the Xbox out. One, you know, Phil Spencer with his big, broad shoulders and his big posture and his really tight arms, and he'd just be like, "Look, look, we got all these games," and then he just he's got an Xbox One just under his arm, and he's like, "This mm-hmm. is the bad boy, and we're gonna show you what this bad boy can do," and he just drops it. And everyone's like, "What?" And he's like, "It's dur- it's durable. You can throw this. Tw- it's indestructible." <laughs> and he just <laughs> then he grabs a hammer and bashes it, <laughs> and then it still turns on. <laughs> yeah. like trucks on stage. Um, he runs over. It. See, I think it'd be cool if 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 it is something like that. But imagine, I mean, I know maybe everybody is kind of not liking the ESA right now. But imagine the ESA combining all of these directs into a show, and then in between have little splash different things of demos or whatever. I think that's it. That's and what I'm then, trying to get at. I think that's what we'll yeah. get. I think that's what we'll get. I think that but, would be really cool still. And I think I honestly would like that way more than just how it is now. All these different segmented things, multiple days. Just have this one big show. 
you know? On one day. Because obviously it'll all be pre-recorded. Yeah. I, I, I'd, I'd like it on one day. It'd be a long day. But be... I hear you guys, and that sounds awesome. I don't think they'll do that at all. Why would they share, like, news space, you know what I mean, now? Especially now if they don't have to. Mm. Like, I think I mean, these I think things they, will be spread apart, do, like, by weeks now. Do they? I think they, they already did at E3. Like, I could see Xbox going in, like, May now with their, you know, digital direct thing or whatever, and then Nintendo still going in June, and maybe Sony goes in, like, July now. Because why would they go near each be. other? Think about how it used yeah. to be with Xbox and, and PlayStation when Xbox was on Monday. It was, like, hours later. It was right. Like, that's right. very but, close. It's not, like, the same. But day. now they don't or have to, like, like uh, you know, they don't have to compete. They could just have their own week, and everyone will be talking about Xbox that week or PlayStation that week. It doesn't, it also, it doesn't cost anything anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't cost, you know, obviously, Xbox. I'm sure it still costs something to develop all that, but I know what you mean. It doesn't cost them nearly as much. Yeah, obviously, like, demos, it doesn't cost Microsoft, you know, we, you know, well, not Microsoft. Let's Back in the day, Microsoft used to, you know, wait there to pay them to be there. Obviously, because of E3 are setting up all the streaming and, and all the, you know, all the tickets. Obviously, they have to pay them something so they can. Put, obviously, this is why Xbox went across the road and went, oh, fuck you then. And this is why PlayStation, I'm like, well, fuck off. I'm, we'll just do our own thing because. You lot, obviously, ESA want to do it their way. PlayStation want to do it their way. Xbox want to do it their way. I think now, even like even thinking now, PlayStation could be like, "Well, we'll get in on this now because it's not going to cost us anything." Mm-hmm. They could be all there, you know. Obviously, like Connor's, I think Connor thinking, you know, maybe the first week of June we we'll get Xbox, the second week of June we we'll get uh, Nintendo, the third week of June we we'll get Ubisoft. I wouldn't like that, yeah. but I see where you're coming from, 100%. They, I, they I, definitely, I think that's how it will be, yeah. They get their own little week. Um, how I think it's going to be, I, I don't think ESA is going to do something. I was just throwing it out there. But it, I, do, I think that I do think that everybody might come together and do it the week still, but then do EA is Saturday. Microsoft maybe in Bethesda Sunday. Uh, Sony obviously doing nothing, and then maybe Nintendo and Ubisoft. You know, maybe Ubisoft on Tuesday and then Nintendo on Wednesday, something like that. But it also uh, can can we tie in the WB story real quick, just because it, it, it pertains yeah, to this? Definitely. Yeah. So WB was also planning on holding an event to show off all these unannounced games, and uh, yeah, that, that, hurt, that is also right? you know obviously not happening now. Yeah. Interesting. But then again, it will be. It will. We'll see it. It'll be. It will be. Everything will just be digital. Uh, digital events and Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Direct. But and then obviously give it. Give it till November December, and it'll all come out. Um, Xbox right. have decided. Well, not maybe not Xbox because they've got that big old. That big. What what do we call it? The event arena, stage theater. Theater. That's the word. But they'll all figure it out. Like. What's the point? Like, PlayStation could probably do what Xbox are doing. Obviously, they announced the PlayStation, they announced all these big titles, um, and then you can play the games here, like a PSX. Do you know I mean they could just do yeah. PSX, but don't do it in December? Do PSX in August or well? Maybe... No, I honestly think the PS Five reveal will just be a state of play now. Yes, yeah. Uh, this I, year, exactly. yes, everything, everything yeah. this year. Will, no one is going to. It, no Go one's going to play it. No one's going to get hands on in the way that we say hands on. Um, right. Kind of on a games day this, this, today, last night or yesterday or whatever. It, it will all be d- downloads. It will be. We have a demo. Surely they'll figure it out. Uh, we have a demo of this game. We will send you a link or a download or a file or whatever. I don't know how they'll do it. I'm going to be real. I don't think that that's it. I don't think that I, we're getting I, some no, brand. I, I see what Sims is saying. Like, uh, Not like those. Wherever you go for previews, yeah, yeah, like those, uh, you know, your game spots at the end, kind of funny. They'll all get sent demos, like just digital demos of those games. Um, I think it'll be more like what they got with these other last previews, I think they're just getting like a 30 minute video. Not Probably, even yeah, even that. Yeah. Something like that. 
I think they'll get something like that. Not really sending them a, a build. I don't, I think it'd be too risky sending builds out there like that. Like I don't dodging, think they, they yeah. would want to do that. That's a fair point. Sure. Well, Steam did so it, maybe... didn't they? With, um, they did it along with, was it the Game Awards? Or I don't remember. What's the other one? The Gamescom. The Gamescom one. They did something where um, you could play the games that they announced demos on Steam as they were being revealed. Like small indie hmm. titles. I think Skateboard was on there, I think. Oh, oh okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I kind of remember this. I can't remember. I think it was I guess, Games, uh, Gamescom Live or something. The, the, the big question is do you guys think E3 will come back? Yeah, that's what I said. Um, oh, did you? Okay. No. Sorry, yeah. No, no, no. I said that at the start, at the top. Huh. Um, no. But it's so a long great long. question. It's a great, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a great question. Daniel, why didn't you say that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why didn't I say it? Um, I think it's a great question. And I think that the answer is probably yes. Um. In what capacity, I don't think we'll know until they actually tell us. I don't think that it is just going to be gone. I think it's too much money wasted there. Um, E3, regardless of like it going downhill, I think is a huge event for the industry and has a name. And I think that so many people just know E3. They don't even play games that much, you know? Been around so long. Like, ever, yeah. ever since I been got in the game. 20 something years. Right. I remember Literally uh, every year yeah. I've had E3 to look forward to. I remember magazines, like having to wait another month extra to see the magazine, to see the pictures of it. Thinking, oh, I'd love to go to this one day. Like, little baby Steve. Like, oh, look at. They've. Re- like, oh, oh, the oh, Black baby Warriors. Steve. They'll be like. Yeah, it's, it, it's more than the games in it. It's more it, uh, E3 being cancelled is more than the games. It's more than the game developers meet it. It's more than you know all these big companies. It's the, the little, cel- it's the, the little celebrate. companies in it. It's, it but it, it being cancelled affects so many other things like the 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 big um, contract companies that get hired to come down and set the show up to set all the booths up. The agencies because we have agencies over here that hire the staff to so just sit by. To sit by the console and let the let us play it. Do I mean they they lose out? They lose on that yeah, regular income. Security and, and uh, all these. All the- it's more than what you know. We're moaning. Oh, we you know we're not getting e free and stuff like that. But it, it, it even the developers that go down and they you know talk to little developers and they be, you know they make deals and they get games. You know they pitch ideas. It's 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 devastating. And this this coronavirus is. Is just one word devastating. It's it's destroying everything, and it all obviously it's all safety concerns, and I completely agree. Um, I, I hopefully we'll, you know a couple of months we'll get back on our feet. I hopefully we'll see three again. I'm sure everyone's figuring it out. I'm sure every game uh, Ubisoft, Xbox, PlayStation. Who else does it? Square Enix did a conference. Warner Warner Brothers are like, oh, yeah. everything the, we've the... just rehearsed, everything that we've just, everything the the tweet draft that we've got ready, it's all got to be binned off, and now we've got to put it into this this video. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure a lot of them are relieved too. Honestly, oh, no. like, oh, oh, great, yeah, now we don't have to save some money, right? Yeah, but then people are not going to get to to get hands on the game and. There's there's certain questions and certain. C- certain I think at some point the big games they're just not going to get majority of people will get hands on. No, because they can't. That's the way it comes down to. But it, like at some point before not, the game comes no, out, you don't. You not don't a think? chance. No way. Not in a million you know, years. So like this hypothetical new Batman game, let's just say it's coming out this fall. You don't think they'll get a hands on with that before it comes out this fall? Do you think these? No. Are, do you think these big? Do you think Sony's gonna set? Not, let's say. Let's say. Do you think Warner Brothers, Rockstar, Rocksteady, Rockstar, not Rockstar, uh, Warner Brothers, WB, right, Montreal. WB Montreal. They're not gonna say. Yo, they're like John. You need to go over to San Francisco. Um, take the this dev kit. Take it to IGN. He's like, no. I'm not saying now, but like come like September. You know no. what I'm saying? 
No, so hey, John, you can you can go over to fucking Montreal and play Batman now. This year, you don't think so? This year is this a whole year right off a complete write off. I I will be <laughs> shocked. I will be shocked if we even see the consoles this year. It's that bad. Uh, I think that's too much. I don't think we'll see them consoles. Well, that's year. what I'm starting to worry about now. These consoles, like, will these consoles even come out now? No, not a chance. No, you don't think so? No, hundred. I, I, would, I don't think so. I would put with all the factories my being shut down in China. I think that's too much money to be wasted. It's not about money at the end of the day. It's about health and safety. No, it is. It is about the money. Well, look at all these movies being moved. They're not moved for health safety. They're moved because they're not going to be able to make money because people can't go see it or don't want right. to go see it. It's all about the money. It's not about their safety. You think that you think that that Sony Pictures cares if you go see the new James Bond uh, with the coronavirus? No, but it, if people aren't going to go see it because they don't want to get the virus, so they're just going to move it so people aren't scared. You know, well, with the, and then with, how, you know, that's fair. But like, what if the consoles just can't get made can't because get they don't have the workers? Sure. Well, no, that's a fair point. No, that the, the being made is a fair. Point. That's what I meant. I think, yeah, really, like they're not going to be I made. Think, then. I think if it was that bad in terms of, like, I think that they can also get made in other places. Uh, I think if it was that bad, Microsoft and Sony would already say something. We're in March by now. You think so? Yeah, we're in March. There's no way these consoles are going to be out in November. Yeah, I suppose I don't really know the timeline when like these things would start getting manufactured. If if no, Phil Spencer no, no. already has some design already. They gotta be. That's a good point. Just getting going. They probably were already going from last year. I don't know though. I don't know if there's like already a bunch of PS fives and Xbox Series Xs sitting in. A no, they're probably there. still being made for sure. But well, how many? It doesn't mean there's not going to be. I, I don't know. I don't. I just don't see it. But... See yeah, what, what, what I think also want to be information. I think that, that it's not likely that they'll be canceled. It, it'll just be less of. Them. I think that's more. There'll likely. be shortage on them. I could see that. Yeah, as well. I think that that is way more likely than outright canceled. That's way too much money wasted. I, I just think I it all say gets canceled, moved, but delayed till all the gets spring. moved to March next year. No, I, see that as well. <laughs> and that's see, I think if they did delay it though, they'd delay it all the way to like 2021 fall. No, because I don't yeah. think they it depends on the screen. coronavirus, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's also, the market. Burns. This is all changing I mean, very hard. rapidly, so it's, it's really hard to tell. Every day changes, it's like <laughs> every day. Yeah. Tomorrow, this whole thing could blow over. Like, yeah, who knows? Um, so speaking of Sony, uh, go to go to Tsushima. Yeah, go to Tsushima has a release date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. finally, it's June twenty sixth, twenty twenty, in the summer. Can't wait! Thank God, can't fucking wait. I'm a huge infamous sure. fan. So did you guys watch the trailer? Uh, I did not watch it because I don't want to see anything. <laughs> okay. I, wa- I watched it. It was good. It looked decent. It looked beautiful. It's, I don't think the trailer was great. Game. Yeah. It, the game looks great. I don't think the trailer did much. I think it was pretty much the same thing as the last trailer. It just the, This game just it, it doesn't seem like, to me personally, it works well at, in a trailer. Like I just want to play the game. It, it is a story I trailer. I kind of get. I kind of get the game now. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I would have clicked on it if it was like gameplay trailer, but they specifically said story trailer, so I was like, eh, yeah. There's like ten seconds of gameplay in it. <laughs> Very little. <yeah. laughs> ten seconds. It, look, yeah, it looks wait. good. It, it definitely looks like my type of game. Like I get like faster Witcher vibes. Like, I like. I like. I'm more of a a sword man than a shooting man. If if that makes sense. Yeah, I get More that. Than shooty. I'm not a big shooting yeah. person. Like, I, I yeah, no, no shooty. And it has to be third person. I'm not a first person guy. Right. But no, yeah, it looks nice. It looks really good. Like all, all the collector's edition, all the, you know, I don't really like collector's editions because you just get a load of crap and they charge you about a thousand pounds. Yeah, I'd so. never get those. Uh, mm. I never played a Sucker Punch game before. I, um, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I love the infamous game. See, that's what I'm just hoping this game is. Just, uh, just give me a typical uh, Sucker Punch open world infamous style game, but you're a samurai. Yeah, and I never had a PS3, so I didn't play like the infamous games. You know, obviously, I hope there's surprises uh, in it, but oh, yeah, you love the infamous games. I mean, I probably would, yeah. Yeah, you probably, they have great gameplay. Uh, Second Son isn't the best, 
It's like a uh, I definitely it, the worst. That's the first. That's yeah, the only one I played. Oh I really? Okay. Wait. I mean, that's the worst in the Infamous series by far. I didn't mind it. It was alright. No, yeah, it, it was fun. Like it, it was, was a good, it was, it especially was a... it was a good launch title. Like yeah. or whenever it came out, it was a round launch. Yeah, it was good for that. The, the game's like a solid, like you know, seven out of eight. Are we are we all getting Ghost of Tsushima? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's up in the air. Yeah, it's I all up. Yeah. We'll see. Um. I mean, I like I like feudal Japan stuff. So, yeah, I love it the cool. setting idea. It sounds really cool, really unique for games. Uh, you know, you don't really see much in that. I suppose now we're getting get more it? and more of it. Sam's, are you going to get it? Yes, um, hundred percent. You are. Yeah, it's that. De- it's my. It's up my alley. It's the game screams at me like. Yeah. Give me a sword, and I'll. What I also like about it is they've been working on this for like almost six years now. So it's just like, okay, this is they've got to put some shit into this. Yeah, and, pretty much since uh, since uh, they did uh, what first light in the DLT. Oh, yeah, first light. I forgot about first light. Yeah. Um, I think I played first and, light. Uh, yeah, first light was good too. First light was better <laughs> than Second Sun story wise. I think I played. That's so weird. Yeah, it, it was kind of weird, but uh, that character was just better. I forget her name, but the character you play as, you meet her in Second Son, and then you play as her in uh, First okay. Light. Yeah, and that character is way better than the main character in Second Son. Don't you play as her in the main game as well? Uh, I believe there's parts where you play as her in the main oh, that's game. cool. I think you get her powers. Oh, I can't remember. Hmm. It's a long time yeah. ago. Did the, the infamous game seem interesting? I, I, I'm Pretty much just wait for I it. I tried work. to play number one so many times. Yeah, it's great. If you like, you know, superheroes, it's a good, unique superhero game for video games, I'd say. You know, I think it's at nice that time. To see superheroes when, that aren't based off licenses. When Infamous 1 came out, there was so many games at that time that were so similar. I meant there was like Prototype and. Prototype fucking sucked, though. <laughs> prototype. And then. Oh, God. There was some other open world, like. Superhero y destroying bad guy world games at the time. So I was more of an Xbox man at the time as well, so I didn't really get around to playing Infamous. But I tried. Well Infamous the first, the the one on the PS4 was great. I enjoyed it. You know, spray spray painting, holding my PS4 controller in a weird way, shaking it. Yeah, that was that was really <laughs> weird. I forgot about that. I forgot all about that. It was sick. I was like, this is the future. That's the only time I've ever used it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I think I, I think that Ghost uh, is looks like a pretty cinematic game, you know. And uh, speaking of cinematic games, The Last oh. of Us is getting a TV show uh, from HBO with Neil Druckmann and uh, the creator of Chernobyl. His name is uh, Craig Mazin. Is how you would say that? Craig. No, Craig. Craig, not Craig. Craig. Amazing, Craig. Bravo on the fucking segways, by the way, today. Yeah, I know. I was just like, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was fantastic. I, I'm just in I, shock by that segue. <laughs> Thanks, man. I tried. Um, that is super exciting news, and I think the most exciting news about it isn't even that it's getting made into a TV show. It's that Neil is a part of it. Yeah, that's what that's right. what makes me happy. Like, if it was just like, oh, Last of Us get a TV show, it's directed by Craig Mazin. I'd be like, oh, all right. But like Neil was there, like I've got this. Don't you worry, guys. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Gonna... Um, so I guess the question is: Is it like a direct adaptation, or is it going to be? It sounds else? like from Neil's Twitter, it's it's a direct adaptation. See, that's so. what worries me about this. That's what kind of dis- really okay. See, I'm I, I'm kind of the complete opposite. I was kind of hoping you just make something set in like the Last of Us universe because there's no. I don't see a need to retell the Joel and Ellie story from the first one or even the no. upcoming sequel because uh, it's like those are already perfect storytelling. Like we, I mean, we already you got do, that. What he can do is just take those characters and the story and like some of the other characters and the fireflies and then just take a left turn. Just do something that way, else with them. Yeah, that way that it is tied loose with people that know the game and has characters of the game. But then it takes a complete left turn. 
I, I just I would like that. If they, I don't know. If they say if they just redo, they start again, the same story, but in that in real life. I don't know. I, my, you know, my mum might watch it. She won't, but she might watch it, and she'll be like, "I watch this TV show, The Last of Us," and apparently it's a game. I'm like, "Yes, mum, it is. Let me go and get my PlayStation Four, and then you know she'll play the game." But would she care yeah. at that point? It's like I just saw all this. Yeah, because you know what I mean. It's a. It's. I I don't I you know I watched the uh, I watched the Game of Thrones. I'd love to play the Game of Thrones game. From the beginning. Yeah, I know. Who fucking would Hundred percent. But that's <laughs> different because you're turning that into a game, which is like gameplay adds something to that. Whereas like I don't, you you're just taking away the game. Someone going backwards. This. You I right. Get, I get where you come um, from. but I think I think the setting and the story and the characters um can translate though. No, they hundred percent could. It's just like I don't understand how like you're gonna flesh it even more out or like what else you're gonna give me in a TV show that I can't already get from the game. I guess it's just um, my standpoint on it. Uh, I don't. I guess it just you just have maybe more time, just just characters. Because I mean, if you think about the Last of Us, you're still playing it, so there are times where you're just doing stuff. You're not really getting story other than like the typical Naughty Dog little quips and stuff. Talk as they go, yeah. Yeah, um, I guess in 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 an hour, HBO usually does hour episodes, so probably eight episodes so eight hours of storytelling just straight storytelling that's probably more story than in the game wait. i got wait yeah, to wake probably. up at 5 a.m on a monday just morning to just to watch yeah. it <laughs> so i can go to work all right and then someone can come up to me i'll be like oh did you watch this and i'll be like yes so you can't spoil it fuck off damn you got some beef with hbo shows Shit. listen yeah right because every year with especially with the game of thrones we it used to get aired at like the same time as America, so at like two AM in the morning over here. But then it get so put weird. on then it get put on on demand. So oh and obviously the whole world was talking about it by the end. So yeah. the amount of people would be like you know, who had watched it, would you know, come up to me like, Oh or I've read it or like, oh, have you heard about Game of Thrones? Like, yeah, I've watched it. Now fuck off. Don't you know, don't start I don't like spoilers. Don't spoil stuff for me. It it upsets me. I fell out with someone recently. I watch wrestling, right? And I normally watch wrestling's on a midnight, like middle of the night for me as well. So I normally go to work. I turn my phone off. I go home. You know, I make my my instant coffee that Daniel was upset with, and I watch it. All right, and he texts me in the morning. He's like, "Oh, did you see this?" And I'm like, "I will fucking end you, you bell end." Um. So did you know that? Did you know that Bruce Willis was dead the whole time? Yes. <laughs> it was 1999, all right? It doesn't count. Or, wait, in what? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Did you know that, that, that Snape killed Dumbledore? Yes. Why are you ruining things for people on the internet, man? <laughs> There's people on the big rocks, know. all right? And you're ruining stuff for them. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I no, ruined yeah. a, a M. Night Shyamalan movie. But anything, no, but anything recent, do you know what I mean? Like, don't, yeah, yeah. You've, give them time. It's like Star Wars, that got ruined for me. Oh, God, where's he gone? Has he come back? Oh, okay. oh right. hello. Hello, all right. Um, I, don't know, I don't know what happened. Yeah, te- technical difficulties there. Technical difficulties. I mean, what part, I mean, they really, they were, you can't ruin Star Wars. Someone did, of that movie. someone did for me. Like, in what part? They no, ruined, they, they spoiled no, it in the trailer. So it was the first, ep- the first, the first of the new series. So first of the new films. And, yeah, uh, of course. Uh, we didn't watch it. We, you know, we didn't go straight. It was like, it's always around Christmas time. So it's always like, we've got no money at this time. So we wait until the January and we watch it in January. And I remember I was in like a YouTube comment. I wasn't even anything related to Star Wars. I was in like a live YouTube video or something. Uh, have you both seen Star Wars? Yeah, I know. You're talking about the part at the end. So some dude spoke was like, oh, I can't believe Han Solo, blah, 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 Kylo Ren, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And I was like, I was like, at that point, I was like, that can't be true because it sounds that dumbfounded that and it, it seems so, it's so, so unbelievable. It can't be, it can't be, it can't be true. I was like, this guy's talking the absolute dog shit. And I went to see it and yeah. it all happened in front of my eyes. I was like, oh my God. I just, I don't, I don't know. So I've learned to just 
turn my phone off or get up really early and watch it like anything that happens over there I have to like I have to get up anyway besides the that point. sounds horrible UK sounds like hell it is man it really <laughs> really is yeah. I gotta wake up at two AM. You're forced to drink insta coffee and <laughs> watch all this American shit. That sounds awful. <laughs> and then Lucky Charms are five pounds a box if I want to eat them. What? Yeah, I've never read them. Well, speaking speaking of something that really upsets me. Uh, Wait, hold on, hold on. Hang on. I, I wanted to talk about casting okay. for the last. Episode. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, I just, I just wanted to. Who, who do you guys want as Jordan? Because uh, um, I have a cool idea for this. I don't have an Ellie yet. I didn't really think about an Ellie. Okay. Um, but I do uh, another kind of funny guy, Andy Cortez. He put out his thing on Twitter, and 100% I agree with his Joel. This is the game of this guy. He should be the guy that played Jamie Lannister. I think his name's like Nikolai yeah. Coster Walder, something like that. Um, he should 100% be Joel. That man's a fantastic actor. And then Ellie, hmm, I'm going to age her up just a bit because I think he's kind of going down in terms of his age, too. So I'm going to age her up a bit. I'm going to say Anna Taylor-Joy. Ooh, okay. I like that. I mean, she's still younger, looks younger. She's still young, but she still maybe, she could be just a more, like a little bit older than Ellie was in the first game. But I think she should be Ellie. Okay. I I just don't really care. You don't care at all. No, I'm. I, I, I'm sure they'll make the right decision. I'm not really a B actor, man. I don't really. I don't really have like the opinion. I, I wouldn't. I, I don't know what I'm talking about, so I don't really want to say it. If that makes sense. <laughs> what about you, Connor? You sound, I you sound want. Like you have uh, an idea. Yeah, I want uh, Justin Thirox as Joel. He's from the show called The Leftovers. He's in a bunch of other things. Too. Oh, Justin Thoreau? Yeah, yeah. I, I can't never say his last name right. I don't even know That's it, okay. honestly. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I want, he's a really good actor. Okay. I don't know if you he's guys ever saw The Leftovers. Yeah. But I figure uh, also, you know, he's part of that HBO family already. Is he intimidating enough? Uh, with a beard. Because <laughs> I feel like... Because I feel like he, he's kind of similar to the, 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 the Jamie actor, but I feel like he is more intimidating. He's a little more... The Jamie actor? I don't yeah. know. My problem with Jamie actor is I'm so used to him with that blonde hair. Yeah, sure. I suppose it doesn't matter what color hair he fucking has, but, like, yeah. I don't I, I think he'd be good. And then I figure sure. just do Maisie Williams as a... Oh, I don't know. But, like, she's already been attached to this, and it's HBO now, which is why I think they'll go with her. Hmm. And, like, I don't know, like, for child actors, I mean, I know she's not a fucking child anymore. She's, like, she's probably, like, 20 by now. But still, she's she's short enough and looks young enough to where... And and she's a great actress. Like, she was great in Game of Thrones. I don't... I haven't really seen any of her other work, but, I mean, she's good. Mm Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's that's who I want. All right, we move on. Well, like I was saying, speaking of things I don't really like, uh, Stadia is basically ripped the head of Sony Santa Monica, uh, Shannon Studstill, and is making a new studio with her helming it, which is very interesting. It's, it, it the only the only reason she's got over there. Is for them big old dollar signs. Unless, that money, yeah. Unless Stadia's got some fucking game we do not know about that we are going to want. No, it sounds That's like she's Google starting money. a brand new studio. Yeah. And making a brand new game. So, I don't know. Maybe she was just felt accomplished, especially after God of War 2018, that she wanted to do something different and new. Yeah, Maybe somewhere I think, new. Uh, you know, she's, she's at her height right then, right? You know, you release that year's game of the year and you know one of the one of the consensus best games in a while but uh you know the, now she can get a huge paycheck from one of these guys and uh, that's what seems like happened yeah it's just but why would you go over there with them in that stadium more money a shit show yeah but why would you Google make a probably game gave her a blank check you know yeah but you're making a game for for a platform that's 
dying on its arse already. And I, it, it pains me to say that because I'm a true believer. I've well, been... I'm not a true believer. But, like, my question is what could she not do creatively over there that she could do at Stadia? You know what I mean? Make an entirely new thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure Sony Santa Monica is being forced to make that award, too. Not that they, like, don't want to or anything, but, you know, that's clearly their next project. Yeah, but as a studio founder, why would she want to leave? That's just a good embrace, question, you know? Just to embrace her horizons, isn't it, I guess? Right. I just, mean, I don't know. That's, that's the only... She's been there for so long, too. Where she's I mean, like, it's very similar to Dan want to move on. Right. Well, Dan Hauser just seems like left the in- industry in general. Yeah, he just... Well, yes. I mean, he's his own thing, but he's also a studio founder that left. Um, right. And I know she wasn't really, like, the creative director. She was just kind of running things. So... Right. Uh, maybe she wants a more Go creative on top, role. right? I, mean, I guess. But, on it. I mean, maybe she just wants to be more creative now. Maybe she wants to step into a creative role and not just head a studio. Sure. Maybe she wants to direct a game. You know? Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, that could be, it could be any of those things. Whatever it is. I just I hope it works out. And I hope to, I do hope to Stadia sorts itself out. They're just not helping. The thing is, right even now. if Stadia like just crash and burns and gets hands I don't know if that affects her. Like she still gets paid, you know. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not I am not too sure about the move. Like I, I think Stadia is just a, a, a trash fire. And they really just need to figure things out before they just start. talk, just communicate, really, because they're not communicating. Like communication's key, like in any business, just talk to us. Like you know, just say, look, we fucked up. Really sorry. We'll start again. Um, whoever's bought it, here's a load of stuff for free for a bit. That's they need I'm... to just start putting games on there. Just put games. In there. Doesn't need to be your own games at this point. Put games in there. But even you know, like. like any game that just comes out, put it on there. Talk just, to the developer, put it on there. It's just, you know, like just it just came it's just bad news after bad news is like the, the the Doom Eternal not being in true 4K. And that you know, they, 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 they come out on you know, they come out last year on stage or in a digital thing. They whip the dick out and they're like, Oh, everything we've got the best things ever, we've got all these computers, we've got the you know, our our stuff's better than Xbox, our stuff's better than this, we've got all the flops. Here's another big dick. Boom. Do you know what I mean? And then it's not <laughs> my analogy. Google dicks. <laughs> but it's not even. I mean, Google just swinging like, them out. That's not even like that important. It's just another tick, another story, and just another thing that that is just I think. Uh, negative towards them. And it's just like, it seems like they're. What was the last like good thing that happened? Maybe I guess this announcement of a new head. Yeah, this is like the first somewhat positive thing that's happened. Every story, like, well, Stadia didn't do this. Stadia isn't uh, whatever. They're not getting games. They have twenty games. That's it. I think it's 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 clear at this point that Stadia just came out too soon. Like they should have delayed this a whole another year, at least. It seems, but at least with this, this is this shows that like. At least for now, their plan isn't to just drop this right away. Because I, I know Google's like notoriously known for just starting these projects and dropping them within like a year or whatever. Yeah. I want it. I still want it now, even though it's trash. I just want to use it, see what it looks like, see how it plays. Sure. I mean, I it's it's too much money right now, right? It's, they're still doing the. I just don't trust it would even work. Like, would it would it even work on my internet? You know, like I I have okay internet, but like I, I just would that's what I would stream I mean, properly. I tried the games, the the Xbox streaming cloud thing. I mean, it it Xbox. was it was it was glitchy at the time, but I think my my daughters were on the internet and stuff. Um, I, I you know I wasn't annoyed by it. I was like, oh, it's fine, it's beta, whatever. I don't know. Good for her. Well, yeah. Good. Uh, we'll see what what even the name of the studio. <laughs> like, who knows? <laughs> couldn't, couldn't they just said, name, said, it. Yeah, nothing. Um, so amnesia uh, is coming back. No which segue. Is awesome. No, no I segue was for really this. looking forward I to it as well. You've let everybody. I, 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 I was like, he had it. Yeah, I keep it up. Lucky. Now. 
I'll try more. It was it was, it was hard. I was thinking the whole. I was thinking the whole. You time. can say Daniel forgot to come oh. up with a segue for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I okay like <laughs> i should have that was that's a daniel joke right there um there it is. uh so amnesia's finally coming back it's been so long like even war of the pigs when they announced it oh i should say the name of it but amnesia rebirth which is a great name for it um war of the pigs came oh like 2014 or something like that it's been a long time and that even that game really didn't hit as hard as the first game can somebody explain to me what this game is Please, I'm really sorry. Um, it is a first-person horror game. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a walking a... sim horror game. I and you get chased. I will check out some footage as well. Amnesia, yeah, like it... one of the first like walking yeah. sim type things back in the it, it exploded on like YouTube and Twitch. The first one did, and right. just everybody was playing the game, and it everybody wasn't getting scared, and it was just it was a sort of zeitgeist thing. And then the second one came out, and then it just kind of was more of the same. It didn't really Amnesia, The Dark Descent. The Dark Descent. That was the first one. I can look at some... Oh. Uh, War... I think it was War of Pigs or something like that was the second one. I actually um, don't like the name of this Rebirth one, because initially I thought no? it was just going to be like a remake remaster of like one um, or two. Yeah, that's just kind of what it sounded like to me. Um, I guess it's more of like a restart to the franchise, right? Right. Uh, it seems like a reboot type thing, kind of. Yeah. I don't even know if Amnesia has like a continuous story like that. Yeah, so what is it? Is it just don't get like walking? You walk around, even... get scared type shit? Yeah, it's like solving little puzzles to keep going. It's kind of like um, Outlast. Yeah, definitely. You, may, you, don't, you, don't really, you don't really fight, you run. The that kind original of thing. Outlast. Yeah, it's pretty much. It was kind of one of those indie horrors. It kind of started that era. Are we excited about this game that's coming out? Um, uh, kind of. I like horror games. Yeah, I like horror <laughs> games as well. I'm more of a with this, like, what's coming out around it type thing. Or maybe I'll just pick it up, like, six months after it comes out or whatever. Not I mean, one hopefully of those where I'm, like, on the edge of my seat waiting for it to come out. I hope it's not PC only. I hope it's coming to console. Because I don't think I'd the other assume ones... it would. Haven't they at some point come to consoles? I don't think so. No? I don't think you can get either one on consoles. That's weird. It is. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, what do you think about it, Sims? You, you looked up the it, footage? It just, it just looks like an Outlast but 10 years ago. Yeah, I'm pretty, I, I, yeah. Played, I played the first Outlast. It was good. Uh, my missus likes the scary games, and it's probably a game you could play with her. I think. I mean, did you play? Was... There's only one game that's ever really scared me, and, and you know, made me fear the game was Resident Evil Seven. Like the setting, yeah. it scared the living shit out of me. And the game was, it had a, I don't know, the game was random. Like you wouldn't do the, the game wouldn't do the same thing twice, and it. And that's what I like about horror games. But it's the only horror game that's actually fourth time playing. I'm still genuinely scared because I don't know what this big guy's got to do following me. Um, yeah. Outlast, you know, you play it once, you get scared once. Then you've got to finish the game and you're like, well, I'm not scared anymore. Yeah, maybe check out Layers of Fear. I know there's two of those games. I mean, it's, uh, it's more of a Mavis's well, like... type of thing. Like... Yeah, she's not too crazy about horror. Good for them, man. Like, if, if, you, if you've got a franchise... <laughs> And you know, people are starving yeah. for it. Bring it out. Do you know what I mean? Like... People love horror. People love horror. Um, <laughs> you know what also is horrific? What's horrific? the coronavirus? But of the coronavirus. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Absolutely garbage. Um, <laughs> yeah, this one, it, this story is interesting because not many people n- probably remember that they announced the Turbo Graphics Mini. Nope. Um, but it, it is also being delayed by the coronavirus. I guess my question is, what the fuck can you even play on a Turbo Graphic? Tomb Raider One. Like, what, I think it's just Tomb Raider One. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, seriously? Yeah, a... No. Uh-oh. No, that was, <laughs> like, what? that was a PS One game. Um, I think it's just like a collection of games. I'm not even too sure what is in the collection. This this story then then leads me back to 
the new consoles. Like if that's getting delay delayed. Yeah, but how, what are they making a thousand Turbo Graphics? Like, I honestly, don't know. But it's hardware and it's getting delayed, and it scares me. And I want my mother because she will make. Yeah, that, that 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 kind of makes me even more worried when you put it like that. Like, if they can't make a thousand of these things, how the fuck are they gonna make like a couple million? I mean, it's consoles? Konami though. I'm sure. That's a good point. I'm sure wherever they're making the PS Five, Konami are just down the road. Like, I'm sure. Just chilling. I don't know. Obviously, I'm being a bit silly, but I, it, 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 no, that this bit of the hardware is being delayed because of the coronavirus. What other hardware, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, will get, you know, will have more setbacks? Like, it's terrible. Like, it's it's terrible for Konami. It's terrible for the the the, the fans. Well, Jared Petty, who who want this Turbo Graphics. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of people grew up with that. The the tur- tur- I can't even speak. <clears throat> Grew up with the Turbo Graphics. Um, it kind of sucks for them. <laughs> like they were such a diehard, diehard group of people that wanted that, you know. And now, like, like how can you even play those games? You have to go get your old one. I don't even think maybe get an emulator somewhere. Yeah, you like actually... illegally on, on your computer, right? I think you could emulate. Really can't you emulate the Turbo Graphics game? Games on a calculator. I'm pretty sure you can. That's how old this is. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, what? Just, Connor. Oh dear. Connor, did I you know no that there's, um, of this. there's Skittles at the end of a rainbow as well? Wait, seriously? I'm going to have loads of fun with this now. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> I'm going to go find a rainbow. <laughs> yeah. But in all um, serious, speaking, it's, it's terrible. What? Yeah, it 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 really sucks. It goes yeah. back to that word devastation. Devastation. Yeah. Um. Speaking of, uh, Skittles at the end of a rainbow. Um, Reggie Fizeme is going to be appointed to the board of directors for GameStop. My that one was Reggie. bad. What the fuck does Reggie have to do with Skittles? Because he is the light. And he's the <laughs> gold at the end of the rainbow. He's the thing that will bring them back to glory. The game stop. Probably yeah, followed that rainbow. That. Found Reggie. And I, know about Reggie. That. I was making a stretch. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. I tried. Okay. Valid attempt. But what does this mean for GameStop? I mean, he's not going to have that much power. It, it means Reggie, whatever Reggie knows, is going to help them even a little bit. Uh, it depends on how much control he has, I guess, right? Like it's more of a, yeah, like board of directors is you know it's more of a. I don't know how can I put it. They got it's more of just a figurehead, I think. I he's gonna think put. You know, he's gonna really have gonna do anything at all for this. He's not gonna do anything, but he's gonna advise them. Any, he? he's got. He's gonna advise them, and whatever he knows, especially working for Nintendo for that many years. It's got to be gold, on it? It's got to be. Yo, definitely. Invaluable. So, you know, I hope they... St- any game shop, I hope... that I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I think we all are. Like, who buys their games from GameStop? Or from me, game? I've been on digital I mean, there are for, people. like, the last few years. I've bought a yeah, few... Yeah, I've been digital for a very long time. And I'm only we're only digital because it's just it's easier because we can buy we can have two of the same game like we we you know we sit down we have a meeting you know hi Natalie you know there's minutes being recorded there's a notebook you know there's someone recording all this like Nat what are we doing with this game are we buying it digital or are we buying it on a copy she's like well I think we're only gonna play it once and we're gonna play it together uh, or you know if it's a game that I'm only interested in we'll buy it we'll buy it physical but. I don't want these places to go away, even though I only walk into them. I, you know, I know the people behind the counter. We have a com- we have a conversation. Mm-hmm. We talk. You know, my local game. There's a guy who's just had twins. They're a bit poorly. I, I wish him more. The I'm best. gonna be be honest though with my game stops. Like a, a few people might know anything, but maybe it's just because I am too tapped in. Like it, yeah. they never help me. Nothing. They just w- never help. There's nothing worse. Nah. They can never like recommend me a game that, like, is like you know a curveball that I'd be like, yeah, you know, like I'll check that out. I don't know like, anything never about had... that. Yeah, I, well, I, not even I, know anything. Just even like, oh, 
you know, like, do you like this game? Well, what about Shovel Knight? And it's like, oh, wait, I heard about that game. Like, then, then they need to pitch me. Like, I've never had that. It's never been that experience. If they're I, like, they're, they, they just, like, want to sell me more things. If I were to a game, Every, or a game style, yeah. some dear old woman comes in. She goes, little Timmy wants me to buy him a game. It's about blocks, and you can build stuff. And I'm like, madam, your son wants Grand Theft Auto 5. And she'd be like, oh, really? I was like, yeah, of course he does. Yeah, come on. Tell me, you two tell me you didn't play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas at like 12, 13, 12 or 10. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't play San Andreas, okay. but I did play five a, a time. Then. Right. But, it didn't do like, I mean, I, you know, it sounds like you're just an evil person because I would probably be a little. I just don't want to Timmy to play Minecraft. I'd say, okay. I'd say, okay, that's a game. But what about just any other friendly game? Like, oh, what about Spyro, right? No. That's, yeah. I'd sell them on something like that. 100%. It, it's I annoying. GTA Go. 5. <laughs> it's annoying going into game. I went to the game once. I was like, oh, you watching? It was E3. I was like, you watching E3 tonight? He was like, oh, that's tonight. I was like, I just wanted to just pick him up. You know, like, you ever watch the Flintstones where, like, Fred just picks up the Dino and just pops him outside? <laughs> Please yeah. say. Right, I just wanted to pick this guy up, take him outside, and just put him outside. And you stay there and don't come back in here again. And let me deal with this shit. <laughs> like, stop. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't want him to go away. I don't. I really don't. I like to go in and have a look. And quiz. Sometimes yeah. I do like to quiz the people behind the counter. <laughs> oh, I try to. <laughs> a little bit, a little I definitely bit. do the same thing. Well, um, you guys are gonna be fucking Rick. terrible customers coded. It. Oh, here comes this fucker again, gonna quiz me. <laughs> Mr. No <laughs> yeah. Mr. No at all. Yeah, oh, personally, you know, I've never had nothing but like terrible experiences at GameStop. I don't know. I, I find the, the workers to be annoying just with all this like they pre order this shit nonsense or trying to sell me shit. Like, I understand I mean, that's like their job. Though, yeah. No, I, I understand that, but like I feel like it's too much at GameStop. Like they're like it is. I feel like Especially these past few years, I feel like they've just been begging me to pre-order or buy something else, and it's just like it's really kind of annoying. They just want to stay in business. And you're, I know, but and that's the, the thing. It's a, kinda... it's a, it's a ship going down already, and I feel like they just threw Reggie some money, and he's just gonna run away with that money. There's no, there's nothing he can do. This is, a, this is already done. I had a good experience in my game last last Friday. I walked in. Me and the me and the manager know each other. We locked eyes. He picks up my Pokemon game. He gives it me. We, you know, um, everything's done on like apps now, and my missus has the app. But you could, she sent me the QR code. I don't think you're supposed to do that because obviously it's not on my phone. And he was like, "Don't worry, mate. We'll sort it." You know what I mean? Like, you know, that he knew what I wanted. But that's because I know him. But yeah, it's a shame. It makes me sad that they'll they'll be gone. And, I, and it's yeah, you sound like you have much better workers and you know people that are actually well, like, in England. We have better coffee years. and better better, better workers. Yeah, I mean, you got You're shit nuts. in the coffee. <laughs> You're nuts. <laughs> You're nuts. So the next piece of news is 2K is going back to making uh, NFL games again, but with a caveat. They said that. They're not doing simulation football games, which I think is a very weird thing to say. Not really sure what that means. <laughs> no, I'm not sure either. Like, I, I think they just mean like they can make like arcadey type football games. Oh yeah, now you said which that. haven't been a thing for a while. So can we get like a like a NFL Street again? Something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's exactly it. Like, uh, exactly. what were those ones called? Like Blitz or whatever. Uh, Maybe that the, was yeah, the property. The but yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it like so I think they can go back to making those? Is that is the blitz like an over exaggeration of football? Like people like yes. jumping in in the air, doing that? uh, not that. Much. But but they it's just... like there's like a bone breaking mechanic if I remember one of them. I'm in. Uh, 
Yeah, you could like throw the football like almost the whole <laughs> the whole end of the field. It's pretty yeah, crazy. Sounds way more fun than Madden. Yeah, damn right. I tried to play Madden a few times. Well, it's just two stop starts to stop start for me. Yeah, and that's football. Well, I, I like the street games, NBA Street, NFL Street. Yeah, I mean, I think those games are great. We did a FIFA Street, which was brilliant. Mm-hmm. Um, but then they, I think they tried to do that in the new FIFA 20. I've not played this FIFA 20, and that's rare. I've played every one since I'll, I can remember. And they tried to implement like a FIFA Street, but like realistic. F- they call it futsal, like five aside. I've not even played it, but it doesn't look my cup of tea. Yeah, the 2K games have a new mode, kind of like Street, where you just take like players or your create a, create a player. And then you just go and do like a three v three. They don't have the. So maybe um, like they have the team, don't they? They have the licensed teams, apparently. Yeah, I think they can't use like actual players though, or something. What? I think yeah, like they can't use players, but they can use team names. Like uh, the <laughs> EA so Madden still owns the race. It is weird. To the players. But since, since you play FIFA, do, are you interested in like the other one? What's the other one? PGA? Or no, that's no, it's no. Pro <laughs> Evolution Soccer. So basically, there it's, you go. It's it's pretty much it's the same thing. Realistic football, with the same rules. You know, probably a bit more, a bit more pace. It's not with the Frostbite engine, obviously, because EA owns it. They don't have the names to every football team. They probably have like four. Or maybe the whole of the Italian league. I could be wrong. I haven't played a pro evolution soccer in a very, very long time. Yeah, it sounds a little bit like what they would try to make now over at 2K. Like you just can't use specific things. Uh, but I think I think that they do, right? Don't they? In pro evolution soccer? Uh, I have no idea. I think that they do use names. They I don't do, think yeah, they, it, have a, they have a, they have the they don't have the yeah. name of the team, so it they have would... like the Premier League, don't they? Yeah, they have a few of them. They don't sometimes. So what they say is, so we have two. Say, well, let's put, let's take Liverpool and Everton for example. Um, this could be a poor example because I think they have the license to Liverpool. I could be wrong, uh, but um, they call they would call Liverpool Merseyside red, and then they'd call Everton Merseyside blue because they're both in that area if that makes sense but then they'd, okay. they'd have the light kind of the light in us basically they they rely more on their gameplay there's a lot of there's a there used to be a big divide between gameplay between pro and fifa but now it's more mainly fifa but then you still have your, your die hard pro fans because they just feel like the game plays better and plus people don't like ea yeah. <laughs> yeah, so maybe that's something that 2K would shoot for. Maybe try to beat just that other football game. Would be my guess. That's a huge market share that Madden has. Right. It really is. Like, yeah. They're they're beating um they're beating them in the the basketball yeah, realm. Two K of like killing it with a basketball. Like, yeah, like live, like NBA Live is nothing. Like they sold it. If, 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 if I remember correctly, a couple years ago when they did it, it was they brought it back and it was like forty bucks or something. Yeah, I think it was thirty. I remember this. Yeah, or thirty. Yeah, maybe it was even half the price. And like it's right. still didn't, uh, like take a chunk from, uh, um, two K because two K is just everybody likes two K. Really, yeah, awesome. I know. Uh... The 2K basketball games are just supposed to be really high in quality, and the the live series which is never even close to that. Hmm. I'm sure it was yeah, at but... one point in its its series run, but there hasn't even been one in a few years, has there? Live? No, I don't think that there has been. Yeah, I think it's I don't been think so either. I think I think NF, uh, NBA is 2K's baby, isn't it? I think that's that's what they take pride in the most. Right. Um, I don't know about taking pride, especially with the last years, but they definitely make a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> I, but it's a shame they. I'm not, I'm not trying to knock the developer either, but it, they, they're it was there was the whole like gambling stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you could you they had, had to... like 
by the yeah, pachinko. Yeah, by the there was like something like with all the um the apparel and stuff in the game, you had to buy it. Really, mm-hmm. so I heard. Yeah. Well, good for them. Like, hopefully, it works out for them. I don't think they should make um like a a, a a let's say a competitor towards uh Madden because it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Maybe if they did make let's say NFL Street, for example. Uh, over the top, like the blitz that you, the, the product, that would that would work. But I don't... Right, it'd have to be somewhat different, not just a uh, NFL simulator game. Like, add a twist in there, like do something different. But I think yeah, there's room really the market sure for like another football game, like because I mean, Street and Blitz are both EA. I'm pretty sure. So are they? Okay. Yeah, I think that was EA big for both of them. Yeah, EA, EA, just EA big. And, yeah, they don't exist. In- big but they should um they were great yeah i know right they they were the be- the better <laughs> my childhood would be you know all these silly ea big games would be great yeah Never i mean hopefully that maybe this pushes madden to be better too but yeah, i know right. get, like they, they can use complacent. competition yeah but Definitely. when when you're king, you don't want to change it. You love it. People moan. People, we have the same conversation over here. FIFA's the same every year. That I'm not buying it because nothing looks like it's changed. It has changed. The tiniest, tiniest details have changed. And if you appreciate it, if you know, if you look at the nitty gritty stuff, you'll appreciate it. But you know, these game, these the people that buy the PlayStation fours just to play Madden and Call of Duty every year, they don't, they don't see what we see. They don't read what we read. Right. Do you know what I mean? Of course. So, the re- audience. Yes, completely. Yeah, you got to appreciate that they put those games out every year with such a short, you know, cycle to make it. Yes, mm-hmm. completely. I mean, yeah, Activision, they do something similar, but now they have three developers doing Call of Duty. Two now, so, I believe, uh, right. Sledgehammer is taking off. With each uh, two- I think for the is, is I guess the rumor, but um, I guess we'll see when they actually announce the new one. But even then, two different developers, that's still, that's more time than a Madden would get. It's like two different developers, though, and like five different support studios. Yes, yes. Raven is the only one I can remember. Uh, yeah, Raven. Uh, yeah, that's the big one, but a uh, uh, Sledgehammer now, I think. But, uh, uh, I mean, I don't know if they're going to put them back to support. We'll see. Um, I guess we'll go into the next the next story. Um, this one, I guess, is personal for me because I'm not sure that you guys are too big into Overwatch, but they are canceling the the uh, live events for um, the next month and a half from this end of March and into April. Um, but they are still going to be playing. If that makes any sense. So I, they think that so just like a b- behind closed doors type thing. Yeah, I think it'll be streamed. Okay. Um, and I think the players will be there playing they the game. Better fucking stream. Yeah, yeah. It's and there'll be no point if they're not going to do that. Right. Just do it. Don't tell anyone. But yeah, they're canceling the 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 bringing all the fans because the way this year has worked, they used to have basically an LA uh, studio or stadium. And everybody would go there to play. And then this, and that was for the first two seasons. And then this season, they started doing it in different cities. So each team can, not every team, but a lot of the teams have like a home area. So there's one in New York and there's still one in LA and stuff. So it's just, just a lot so of there's one like closer to them. Sure. And I think they wanted like more of the sports mentality with like home field advantage and I think kind that's... of. As as eSports evolves, we will get, they'll have their own, let's say, stadium. Um, Everyone will have their own, each individual state, like at home, they would say, so basically, they they won't get a building built just for them, unless it really does it take off. Um, But yeah, it's... um, It is evolving, it's getting bigger and bigger. Like On the radio, like... On the radio today, or was it coronavirus? T- you know, killing all the sports over in UK. Like, there was, we've got no, we've got no sports to look forward to for the next month. 
Which is fair enough, I'm yeah. not complaining. But they included esports in that conversation. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? That was in all... that, yeah, that, that, even I was shocked because they'd not, no one on the BBC over here, they've not mentioned E, they've not mentioned E3 being cancelled. But, you know, when they were talking about all the sports that have been cancelled, so we've got the Six Nations, we've got the, we've got the football, we've got the tennis, the tennis is made everywhere, and esports has been cancelled. It's like, blood, like, I was like, wow, that's, that's a big feat. That, to be under that sports echelon of category, like fair play, yeah, being the same story, and it is it is a big deal. I I don't follow esports. I'm I'm not a competitive gamer. I'm not. So it, for me, I don't follow that scene. But uh, I'd really only follow Overwatch at this point. Um, yeah, I'm the same way. I don't I don't follow it at all. Yeah, it, Overwatch is pretty great. Uh, it's a I can see it being intimidating to watch. I don't really think it is. Um, you just, just need to know the characters, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the lore. Don't get me wrong. I'll watch the mini the mini series. They do. They're great. Fantastic. Oh yeah, there's a series. Yeah. Mini. Yeah, uh, he's some of the videos. The, the, we, they do oh, like okay. story video. Like it's like the, the Overwatch two video. Like I watched that and yeah. I was blown away by it. Like I was I was emotional great. watching it. I was like, this looks great. I. Uh, if Overwatch two, when it when if they they do have a story, right? They've said this, haven't they? Yes, uh, they haven't said much. Was... That would be fun. I will happily buy Overwatch two just to play it. And I'm gonna interject here. And the other half of this story is the lead writer of Overwatch is leaving Blizzard. So what did this... that guy do before this? <laughs> yeah. Then he just wrote those Michael, series. Michael Chu is leaving. Um, I'm not sure. He's been there for 20 years. Okay, um, so he's obviously worked on other things. So he he was there at the beginning of Overwatch, for sure. Right. So when it comes to being the lead writer, do, does he have the final say on every character or every character's story? The lore? I don't know the extent of Probably how much like their backstory. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how Overwatch is being set up. Do you think this affects I mean, Overwatch 2 really bad? Uh, I think it does. I don't know about really bad, but it definitely has an effect, for sure. It's um, twenty years, like we said. It goes back to goes back to Shannon. He's been there. He's been there twenty years. As he's she, he, yeah, he's been there twenty years. Yeah. Or obviously, this Blizzard doesn't have many. I want to say doesn't have many story games, but every game has a lore, doesn't it? Like, um, is League of Legends under the same? No, that's that's different. Okay, that's right. No, that's right. But that's these Blizzard games. So who? What? What we're talking? World of Warcraft. Yeah. So, yes. But these all have stories in the background, don't they? If that makes sense. I mean, over our World of Warcraft is pretty. Mm. <laughs> the story is pretty integral. Okay. This this shows how much I know about this stuff. Uh, but maybe you know, maybe the task of having an Overwatch story. Knowing Overwatch has this big, massive fan base, maybe he crumbled. Like it, I know it sounds stupid, but maybe it was like Too I just can't. Man. I can't take this task. Like, or he's just had enough. Do, do we know when Overwatch Two is supposed to come out? Because it might be already no. written. No, I mean, I, I don't think it was supposed even supposed to be this year. I think I, okay. I the way I took the announcement. Same with the Diablo announcement that. They're both like definitely not this year, and maybe Overwatch two next year, and Diablo like twenty twenty two. You know that's kind of okay. how I took it. But right, because um, like even we talked a couple of weeks ago about the Rod Ferguson thing, just now coming into head of Diablo. You know, so right, like that, that game can't. That's just that. getting so. That was so, the time when Blizzard was in like a bad spot, right? And they kind of just announced those it seemed for like some good PR. Yeah, that was BlizzCon this past year, a couple months right. ago. Right. Yeah. Not even sure exactly when, but um, it's just, eh, Overwatch too. Like even just Overwatch in general, they have so much story kind of in the background of the game. And I guess that's not enough for some people. I mean, I would like, I would love a story campaign. Yeah, you're the one that plays it. So, like, would you be interested in a story campaign? 
yeah I, what do you what do you want from want that? you want like an open world thing or you just want like a definitely your single player first person shooter um i would probably want a game where you bounce between different characters i think okay that's, they'll definitely have that one they maybe right. maybe a very linear experience maybe incorporate like elements of like the actual game, but I don't know. It's a tricky I don't, game. I don't know the game where they're want. jumping around in different characters and they each get like yeah. their own level or something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But then, like, how would the gameplay be? Because you don't want to just do like p- the payload in a story mode. Like that's kind of boring. Mm-hmm. Like what? That that's like Battlefront Two, right? Remember, I remember you having a problem. Like, what? what what are you doing in the game? You're just doing the same thing that you would do in a multiplayer. Just right. With like a story around. I don't right. Know. Yeah, because like in Battlefront 2, it felt more like that campaign was just there as like a tutorial for the multiplayer. Yeah, definitely. It, it de- I don't hate it as much as you do. But, um, and, uh, I can't stand that. Yeah. Uh, I, so I just, I, ha- I had faith in It's definitely um, not as much as it used to be. But I guess we'll just have to see if this actually affects and if they actually come out and show some Overwatch 2 thing, you know? Right. Final, final question. Um, do, you think, do you think we'll see anything at E3? Or whatever the C3 is going whatever to be? Whatever it's going to be, yeah. <sighs> I know. I say, like, you realize not. E3 cancel. Yeah, it's, um, it's going to be fuzz habit. If anything, I can probably be... The Sure. I no, I understood what you meant, but I think if anything, it would be at BlizzCon again. Um, BlizzCon's at they, right they at have, the end of the year, isn't it? Yeah, or towards the end. But they they have. I think it's in November, if I remember. But they have to. If you don't, if they don't come out and show Diablo and Overwatch again, what are they showing? I think they'll probably do one or the other. Would be my bet. No, I, you, yeah, I think you have to really show that. I think, do you? I think like if you if they showed Overwatch two again and said literally nothing about Diablo, and just passed it by, like, <laughs> what are you doing? Say it's, something. It's a big event though, isn't it? I, I've watched um, I watched a few of them, and it's they have like loads of different stages all across wherever they are. I remember last year I watched it was Overwatch, and then they just come back from Diablo, then they went to Hearthstone, and then they went. Somewhere else, uh, yeah. It's quite. It's, it's a decent show if you're a massive fan. So the, I think they'll yeah. have something to say about everything. I think they have to. Yeah. The uh, new releases. Um, there's not. There's not very many, but we are definitely ramping up. This is the end of March. We're going to get into April, and it's going to be awesome. No, we're um, we're getting into but, the season here now. Yes. Yes, it's getting into spring, it's starting to warm up now. It's, it's like great. from here to like The Last of Us now is pretty much just a shit ton of games. Oh, no, you got Cyberpunk still. I forget that. No, um, I but, mean uh, like it, there's a dead period like in the summer, but then it'll ramp up again in like maybe? September. Maybe. Yeah, ma- that, that's a good point. Mm. Games need to start coming out in the summer. That's when kids are out. I mean, we do have Ghost of Shima in June too. Oh, there you go. That's one. I think we've got some decent um, once a month, haven't we? Usually, usually. Sometimes it's July. They don't have any. Yeah, usually July is just dead. So, um, so Ori and the Will of the Wisps comes out Tuesday. Yeah, started that. Um, Fantastic mm-hmm. so far. And then N- Niho 2 and MLB come out on Friday. Is there anybody... PlayStation and Xbox? Are we, are, we all ba- are we anyone a baseball fan? Uh, no, not at all. I appreciate it from a distance. I'm not a, the biggest fan of baseball. I have a friend that specifically bought a PS4 for these games, so I know they're huge. Yeah, and yeah. he just I buys them every year, and that's like all he plays. Mm-hmm. I had the same thing. I tried to yeah, play the one that uh... they gave us for free. Oh, okay. Because I'd always wanted to that play a baseball long, game, though. but it was—I don't know—they they just seem to complicate the mechanics. Like, I just want to have someone throw the ball at me, and I hit the ball with one or two buttons, and that's it. But I don't know. It was it was so complicated. I was just I was like, I'm, okay, whatever. Good for you. 
Right. <laughs> From what I hear, they're very well made games. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I just have no interest in them. They're yeah, absolutely not beautiful to look at. Yeah, I'm not a big sports person, but I, th- I do think it's a notable, notable game to to mention. Uh, um, are you, you guys into Neo Two at all? I know I'm I'm not a Souls type guy at all. Too hard I don't me. think any of us are. Me, yeah, yeah. Me neither. I think it looks cool. I, I think it does look cool. I love the setting. Like the setting looks cool. I played yeah, about twenty of... minutes of the first one. Not for me, but yeah, you know, setting's great. Yeah, feudal Japan's great. Um, uh, so let's move on to the bets section. The bets. So this is always this is always the section that gets heated. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Fucking fuming. Okay, Wait, why are so, you fuming? So, because the top, right, just go ahead, go ahead, Daniel. Hold on, let me read the bet first. <laughs> so the bet, the bet was uh, how many Pokemon are on the cover, the front cover for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Okay, Honor said eighteen, I said twenty, and Sim said ten. Okay, so I went and counted, and I had a second opinion. He also counted. I didn't tell him what it was. I just told him, count how many Pokemon there are. And we both came to the same number. And the number that we came to was 17. That's, that's correct. I'm going to double-double check. I'm going to double-double check live. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so Connor, this week's you you rules... No, yeah, I came up with 17 as well. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, but this so... week's rules are a little different. Oh, oh, yeah. We're, we're going with who's close. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, right, right. Let's, yes, who's the closest? I was just one away. I was going to come in here and try to convince you guys that that little seed was a Pokemon. Because <laughs> there's a little seed in, like, the lower I right corner. Someone, I, 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 I was going to try to make the argument, like, no, that's that's Seedle or whatever the fuck. My other argument was... No, it's Apple whatever. It's the Apple thing. Oh. Apple oh, one. the Apple one. There yeah. is an yeah. Apple Pokemon. There is an Apple on See, that I, box I, I, as well. I don't know here, guys. But no, because the, the Apple doesn't <laughs> exist in this, in this universe of yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, it's only the right. first, what, two or three gens? Yeah. But this, right. the argument was, is like, the, the the question is, how many how many Pokemon? So a Pokemon being a Pokemon. Right. But there's like, in the background, there's two Murkrow. So is that... Yep. Is that the, is it, is no, is yeah, it the same? you count both of them. So I was, yeah. this is, uh, but then I was asked, them, I was like, nah. Even if you didn't, you win because it'd be 16 then. I was like, nah. No, it'd be 15 if you don't count both. Because well, I thought, one would, count I one thought it'd count as one because it is only no. the one. Yeah, I know what you're saying. But I was no, really over So, yeah. Sims, you won a bet. It took yeah, four as the fourth bet and you won one. Why did I win? I don't yeah, get it. Yeah. I thought you would have, you lot would have won it. Is no, it no you guys we went do. Over? If you go over, you lose, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, I've, I've been fuming about this rages. <laughs> so I said, I was like, why are you so mad? <laughs> yeah, well, you won. You won I'm so, bet. so stupid. No, it, I had to ask my, my partner. I was like, because it's, I, they're the same type of Pokemon. Does that a does that count just as the one Pokemon? You don't count both of them. But then I was like, is there a baby Murkrow? And she was like, no. And then I'm, I've got the box in my hand. If we, if I reverse the cover, there's loads of Pokemon inside it. Anyway, I what confused me was that fucking seed. I, I no, initially yeah, I, I counted it. it, and I was like, "There's no fucking it's way I got new, exactly 18." Yeah, you did. Huh? No, I was like, um, "What is that?" <laughs> okay, so um, next hey. week's bet, I think, is going to be a fun, an interesting one. So the next week's bet is going to be how many times in the IGN review. For Neho 2, will they say Dark Souls? Or <laughs> I love that I'm gonna bet. put on there Dark Souls like. So if they say either just Dark Souls or Dark Souls like, I will count it. Sure. If they say the word Dark Souls, they count. Right. Okay. At all. So like Connor, it. how many times do you think So their review is already out in the right? IGN review? It is it should it be out today or maybe it was out so, some it should be out right now. How many times will they say? So you're going to watch the video and then count. No, no, no. I'm going to go at the written review. Oh, you're going to the written review. I will go and I will scroll through. That's even more than I would bet. So we're going from the written review, not the video review. Yes, I'm going to go to the written review. Okay. So, Connor, how many times? I will say seven. 
Seven times. Wow, seven times. That's not, they will say Dark that's Souls. A high number. So, okay. I know okay. IGN. I know they they love their Dark Souls. And they're they do. They do. And they're just gonna compare it to Dark Souls. There's gonna be a lot of Dark Souls. Um, what about you, Sam? How many times will IGN say Dark Souls in the Neho review? Four. Four times. Ooh. Interesting. Um, I think I'm gonna go under, and I think they might only say it once. Once? No way. Yeah, IGN. IGN could not resist saying Dark Souls. So many sure, sure. I just, I only think they're gonna, they're gonna do it once. Um, I wonder who the reviewer is on that. Yeah, I do not know, but don't look at that review. Probably, all right, I won't. <laughs> do not look at the review. Um, so I, I, I'll reiterate just one more time. So how many times in the IGN review for Neo 2 will they say Dark Souls? Uh, Connor said seven. I said one. And Sim said four. Okay. So we're going to go to the, uh, the game. This week we'll just do, uh, we'll do 20 questions this week. I'm going to whoop your ass. We have to. No, we have to work together, don't we? I like the competitive. Like yeah, the- still gonna whip your ass, man. This is you guys versus me, baby. <laughs> this is you versus me. Okay. We're we're gonna whip uh, your ass, Daniel. I have the game. Someone's ass is getting whipped. <laughs> it's not gonna be me. I'm gonna tell you right. Now. Look, you, you have my the last game. pick. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Come yeah, on. we got that's that. A great. That's a great. Well, that's a yes, but that's a great one to pick. You know what I mean? It's a good still game. One. We still won. Them we still got the double. You did. Got that dub. You do. Okay. Uh, dub skis. Start the questioning whenever you guys right, are ready. You got the game. Okay. Yes. Did this game come out before the year 2000? Before 2000. Yeah. Yes. Damn it. Okay. I'm out of my wheelhouse now. <laughs> <laughs> We're fucked. <laughs> okay. Did this come out on the N64 PS1 generation? Yes, it did. Did okay. Okay. Is this a Nintendo game? Is it Nintendo exclusive? Did Nintendo publish or develop this game? That's two questions, but I'll accept it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, no, this is not a Nintendo exclusive. No. Okay. Uh, is this a PlayStation exclusive? Yes. Okay. So we're looking at a PS1 game. Would be my guess. I mean, it kind of has to be. You said it's coming out there. So is the developer of the game still around today? Yes. Mm, That was a weird yes, though. Something's up with that. (laughs) (laughs) I don't like that yes. <laughs> Double round. PS1 game. PS1 game. Is this a 3D game? Yes, this is a 3D game. Okay. Was this made in Japan? Yes, this was a. This is a Japanese game. Okay. Okay. Japanese developer. Has uh, this game been remastered game. slash remade? Ooh, no, okay. the game has not been remastered. Fuck, that doesn't help at all. Um, uh, how many questions do we have left? Uh, this has been eight questions. Eight. Okay. okay, we're looking good here. We got a lot. Um, the game review well. Yes, it is a well reviewed game. Okay. Uh, is this like an iconic game? Like, do a lot of people know of this game? Um, yes. Yes. Okay. It is a well-known game. That's ten well-known questions. Well-known game. Okay. Well-known game. Well-known PS1 3D games made in Japan. There's a fucking lot of them. Is this game an RPG? <laughs> That's is this... like every game. <laughs> <laughs> is this game turn-based? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, no, the game is not turn-based. Okay, not turn-based. Um, is this a 3D platformer? No, the game is not a 3D platformer. Shit. 
Connor, stop talking. <laughs> Why? <laughs> These are great questions. <laughs> Those are good questions. Those are good questions. You gotta, you gotta whittle it down, right? Okay, so not a 3D, not a platformer, not a turn based. What are other big genres? Mm-hmm. I know um, you can ask genre, you can games. think uh, about the game, the gameplay. I shouldn't really like help a, you. Like a Tomb Raider type thing? Ape Escape, maybe? Ape Escape. I don't know if that's a 3D platformer, though. Yeah, know. I'd consider it probably a 3D platformer. Okay, so it's not that then. Uh, it hasn't been remastered. It has not been remastered. Do you count that as re-released as well? Uh, that was not the question. That was not the question. Okay. wonder if it's just been re-released. Sims, you okay if I ask that? <laughs> oh, question I, I was going to ask anyway. We've got 11 out. We've got 10 more, right? 10 more? Uh, that, there's more. been 12 questions. Oh, oh shit. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, has this game been re-released? It, it was released on another platform. Yes. What does that mean? Okay. It was I can't clarify. You can. Platform. You can. You can try to clarify it if you want. God damn it, Daniel! <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> I'm telling you. I shouldn't even have said that. I should have just said yes or no. <laughs> Has this been re-released on PlayStation Three? No. Fuck. Has this been released on PlayStation 4? Oh, God. You really want to ask that? Yeah. No. (laughs) Nope. Sound of a platform. Hasn't been released. It was a PlayStation 1 exclusive. Maybe like one of the Double May Cry games that just came out on there? Because I don't think those came out on PS4. Oh, God, yeah. He's on to some of them. Do you use a sword in the game? No, you do not use a sword. Fuck's sake. Fuck. I hate you, Daniel. <laughs> Come on, you guys got this. But it hasn't been released. Rapper the been... Rapper? No, it couldn't be that. That's been re-released on PS4. It hasn't been re-released. But it's been released on a different platform. So what? Maybe it's on? I kind of want to figure out if it's on, if it was re-released on like a Nintendo platform. On the switch. Has this been re released on the Switch? No. Oh, what the fuck? fuck? All right. All right. We're not looking good here, Sims. Okay. Not a 3D. Let's How many questions we got? How many questions we got? You, got? you got three and then a guess. So oh. maybe figure out what the game is. Not okay, where yeah. it was released. I feel like that's killing you. I feel like that would just help us game? so much, though, if we knew think about, where it was going. Think about gameplay. Think about, so it's on the PS1. Play. It's never been remade. What other types of gameplay there are? Is it, is it an action-adventure game? Yes. I'm, I'm going back to Tomb Raider. Metal Gear Solid, maybe? Like, the first one? First, first two, maybe? Well, what... Those have been re-released. Mm. Those were re-released on PS3, though, I believe. Maybe not the first one. Yeah, it's an action-adventure game. Yeah, I'm leaning towards Tomb Raider. You don't use a sword. Don't. It's not Tomb Raider. It's not a platformer. Tomb Raider's not Japanese. It isn't? No. Is Hitman? The original Hitman? Uh, is this, Japanese? this is a tough one, Daniel. No more, no more games before think... the 2000s. I don't think it is. You don't but... think it is? Okay, it's no. well known. It is. Yeah, it was another question. It Classic is well known. It is a well game. Um, Persona's turn base. You play as a, a male base. protagonist. It does have a male protagonist. So does every other fucking game besides Tomb Raider. Mm-hmm. How yeah. many questions we got left? You have Two, one question left and a guess. One question and a guess. Fuck. 
Do you want the last question, Connor? Or shall I have it? You can have it. I'm, uh, I'm hitting a wall here. Is this Ooh, game... Maybe a fighting game? Maybe? No, because it's action-adventure. Oh, yeah, fuck. Um, I'm thinking, like, um... Siphon filter? Uh, what's the other one? Time time splinters? Because they weren't re-released. Are those, oh, are those no. stealth? No. I I can't help you. Is this <sighs> fuck's sake? Is this game made by Hideo Kojima? The game is made by Hideo Kojima. Fuck, fuck for that. Shit. All right. Well. Right. So which one is it? It's it's Metal Gear Solid One. Is it one? Did two come out on PS1? No. No? Okay. Well. What's the guess? I guess that's our guess. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 1? Is that your guess? What else did he, hang on, hang on. What else did he come out with on PS1? Is there anything else? I don't think so. Okay. I Give me your final answer. Our guess is... Say it together. Okay. Same <laughs> together. It's it's the first one, Connor. It must be right. If okay. it's wrong, I'm sorry, but that's the only one I can think of. Okay, is this game Metal, Metal Gear Solid One? Yes, it is. Fuck for yeah, that. Just, right. Thank I'm God. fucking good at this game. I am. Let me I fucking tell believe... you, Mr. Hideo Kojima. I can't believe you said, "Is it a Hideo Kojima game?" That's I can't believe <laughs> that saved you. Hang on, hang on. Isn't that a stealth game? It is, but it isn't. It's an action adventure game. He can totally lead me away from Metal Gear Solid. With that no, 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 no. He asked, "Is it an action adventure?" Game? And I said, "Yes." He never asked anything about stealth. Wouldn't it only be a stealth game then? No, because like, I guess action he's... adventure on PS One no, is like, in the like game. Tomb Raider. I suppose it, a stealth. Would a stealth game be? You get caught, you start back to another checkpoint. Kind of. Yeah. Back in that day. On, in the day. It depends on the game, but like it is an action adventure game. Like you do just shoot things. Yeah, as soon as you get caught, it's dun 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 you get a hide. Yeah. Oh, not. And if, so from what I get, the game was not ever reported to anything else. It just had a PC release. Uh, it went it that went to te- it technically went to the PS1 mini, didn't it? Uh, I don't see that, but it, it had a Windows release in 2000. Okay. Um, but, like, from what I know, maybe you can play it through, like, some sort of, like, PS1 Classic or something, but for the most part, this game was not ported. 2 and 3 and Peace Walker were all in, like, a bundle. Um, oh, but I played 2 and 3. Yeah, because I was about to say, there's that giant bundle on, like, the 360 PS3 gen. Yeah, the 360, that's the one I played, which had Oh, the 360 only had two and three. didn't have the Peace Walker in. And that's what I played. Metal Gear is... No, that's not it. I, I'm on Wikipedia. Well, I'm in, in, his, in Connor's defense, Metal Gear Solid is a stealth game developed by Konami, released by PlayStation 98. Uh, stealth. But I, I do see where you're coming from. Like I, I class it as an action and action adventure. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, genre action adventure stuff. There, there's so. action in the game. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, we we won. And, uh... I don't. Whatever, we won. Daniel, you got you it. Got your you ass whipped. <laughs> took all the way to the last question. It did. It That's did. That's how I do, man. That's how I roll. We man. did it. We did it. That's twice now we've done that. So that's good content right there. That's good All podcast. Right. <laughs> well, the one, the other one was us doing it with Shadow of the Colossus. Oh man, that was you guys fun. did pretty well with the um, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I think you had like three more questions left for that one, and you guys got it in that that quick. PC version. PC version released in North America, Europe, in late two thousand. Yeah. It was, um, version was well, published by Microsoft Game Studio. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that's it for episode five. Is it? it? Of the Nordic Gods <laughs> podcast. Thank you very much for listening. Did we kidnap anyone this week? No, you know, I didn't. I didn't go for the parents. I wasn't hosting Daniel, so I thought he was going to take their parents. 
I'm not involved in this kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to get listeners now? What the fuck? Uh, uh, not kidnapping them? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back to kidnapping your parents next week. Oh, no. Bye, um, everybody. I'm not. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. We're sorry about Connor. <laughs> <laughs>